Have access to Grok and the Harith. Para sa Brenny Sports, are they gonna go for Kufra this time? Para kontra na itong Harith na to? Tingin ko okay yan, yung Kufra. Well, other than the Grok, meron ka ng, ano eh, meron ka ng Grok, meron ka na rin uh, Harith on the side of Archangel. The bouncing ball should at least control the Harith, or at least kung hindi mo ma-stop siya, to siya totally, control lang. Push, pushing him away from the Zaman Force, oh. making, it, making it easier for you, uh, for Kimi to dish out damage. Ooh. Franco and Liam Ward and the crowd goes well. Mukhang malaki yung tiwala ng mga viewers natin dito para sa Brenny Sports. Franco, alam natin si Payne. Like he said, sobrang consistent, sobrang accurate. Seven out of seven bago siya magmintis. Yeah. And then he eventually landed actually like three more in a row after yeah. that one miss. Hindi siya nami, na, namimintis actually every single time it hit. Ooh. Kaso lang, nakita natin earlier, he used the same um, Franco against Archangel. Pero masyadong maganda yung positioning ng Archangel. Masyadong gina, maganda yung uh, play nila to nullify actually that Franco. Alright, so for Archangel, we're gonna go for the Akai this time. Medyo chill muna in terms of getting to the course. Kunin muna nila dito yung mga important attacks. I think Akai, the way Archangel plays this, napaalupit ng kanyang connections with the Hurricane Dance. But not only that, it's all about the pressure from the Akai. Parang, yeah, maganda siya pag team fights, pero yung pressure sa lane, pressure throughout the mid game, it's actually coming from the Akai player of Archangel. Now, set next set of bands. What else do we expect para sa para sa team sa to? Hayabusa. So, na wala na kagad yung Hayabusa ni Kiluwash. So, that neglects him to to kill that um, Kimi really fast. So, kasi pag nakikita natin, like I said, yung 7 season na yung Hayabusa, it's so easy to kill a marksman and a mage. Pwede dito mag-van dito ng Lunox ang, um, ang, ang Archangel pag mawala ng mage. But Esmeralda will be open. So, that's a 50-50. But I think... Ang pwede nilang iban dito is another tank, Minotaur. So wala nang tank dito ang Brenny Sport if they want to have that comfort week. Yeah. Minotaur is indeed uh, the priority para sa Brenny Sport. Going back. And it will Ayan. definitely be banned Your by Archangel themselves. Ngayon, syempre last set of picks na to para sa parehas na teams. Another tank for Brenny Sports and possibly the course from Archangel. What do we expect from both of these teams? Guys? could probably see maybe like a Kadita coming up from Bren. Okay. Um, wala na siya, a lot, not, not a lot of tankiness, a lot, not a lot of options here. Wala na rin yung Tams dyan. So, a Belleric is definitely in the books right here for Bren kasi wala silang tanky hero. And the sustain would actually help Yuji stay alive habang uh, rin na ni Jay or rin na ni Lusty who might actually pick up the Lunox already. Oh. Double mage, Kuya Doggy, can you actually explain to uh, all of our viewers what is the capacity of double mage composition? So, the double mage dito, it's a good setup because Lunox, we said that when you double mage, you want to have Kunat, but still have a lot of burst, like with Esmeralda, like with Lunox. You can go side lane if you want to. Then Harith, he can go side lane, he can destroy the turret under 2 minutes mark time. You can do that. But I don't think that they're going to pick Farsa here because you can come here with um, Hellcart um, Archangel to deny that Farsa. So that's a risky, risky, risky hero pick if they lock down. Nila yan. But they will go for the Kufra. As mukhang nakupo, mukhang manguhula tayo ng koti dito. We are not seeing. But Brandy Sports, I think yung Kufra is a natural pick para sa kanila. Ooh, Alice. Ooh, Alice taking a page out of Signal Ultra's book. Oh, they Very good versus Har uh, Harith. Dahil meron siyang stun para makontrol nga naman yung Harith when he comes in. And of course, Kufra prevents the Chrono Dash from happening. So at least for me, this is a very solid drop for Ren Eastwards. Archangel, what are they looking for para sa uh, last pick? Maybe another fighter? Maybe perhaps? another Hellcurt, I think. Um, Hellcurt? Get, kasi alam naman natin yung Archangel, mahilig sila mag-split push eh. And getting that uh, Hellcurt will allow them na mag-split push and at the same time, kung gusto nila mag-clash, pwede yeah. sila mag-clash. How about Owl Juice? Ooh, Joyd. Yep. Uh, it, it fits the profile because technically speaking, Joyd's a fighter. Back in episode season one, they a tanky build yung ginagawa nila, but for now, it's more on the damage output. And that's great control laban sa isang uh, Kufra. Do we like this pick at all, Gia Doggy? I mean, nakita natin ginamit siya na ng, ng Archangel, Joyd. They can deny basically the Kufra really, really yeah. easy. And after that, they can just burst it para maula na kagad yung Mambibuhay siya. Sabi na, mambibuhay siya sa kanila. Oh. Kasi ang Kufra, pagka napap na yung second skill, lahat ng dash, chrono dash, um, mawawalan ng visa. So they need that Harith 
to give a lot oh. of damage. Alright, and Johan might be able to make that Harif take over. Kumbaga, ngayon, ito na ang uh, favorite na part mo, Kuya Toki. <laughs> but we're gonna start with Ilustrado. I need your predictions for this first game. Who's gonna win it? Uh, honestly, Britt. I like their I like their lineup a lot more here. Uh, okay. For me, medyo reactionary yung big ginawa ni uh, Archangel dito. But uh, obviously, I always, Panda always has a plan. So okay. you never know. Brent, para dito kay Ilustrado. How about you, Sir Doggy? Uh, so nakita natin yung draft. Kung sana kumuha, sana sila ng assassin to deny that... Um, Kimi, I will go for Archangel. Really, really fast, right away. Kumuha Assassin. Maybe a Hellcard. Like Illustrado said, Hellcard is a good, good, good pick of Dito. But then, they go they go for the joint. I know they want to counter that Tufra. But, Assassin is a, is a must. Pag makuha mo yung Kimi. So, I'll go for Brent Esports. Alright, Brent. Then, para kay Doggy. How about you? Kuya ni Doggy, TDZ? <laughs> Lagi ako yung nag-break. Pero, I'll break it out sa Archangel ako this, this time. Uh, yung una, Sabran ako, but I, after I saw Johan, kasi pwede niyang i-misposition yung ano yung Alice once he uses ultimate eh. Pati yung Kimi kung sakali maka-backside man siya. So it will be a nice opener for them to dish out a lot of damage, especially for the four heroes. So I'll go for it. Alright, alright. Narinig nyo ang prediction ng ating panel. But again, it ain't a final if it's not a Manjin and Shinbu. So, ibibigyan na natin sa malupet na tante. Manjin and Shinbu, sing na! Live from the Lab Pavilion Metropolitan Park! Mula sa Pasay City, kami yung magiging shoutcaster na ako po si Chinbu with a one for an eye. At ako naman si Manjin at, at kami ang Manjin Butantel para dito sa finals ng MPL Season 3, Brand Esports versus Archangel. Here we go, paring Chinbu. Ito na ang Revenge of the Fallen yes. storyline oh. nitong dalawang team na to, Archangel, tanggad agad nung Season 2. Bren, heartbreaking loss to season 2 na rin. Here we go. Let's go. Let's Here we start go. the fight. Archangel ang mapupunta sa red side. Kuya Shin Bu. Pakilala ko muna. Kiluwash ang Hunter x Hunter. Ang Harit. Si Riyong. Gagamit ng Lunox. Jay as the Akai. Lasty as the Gra. And Jeff. Cutie forever, bilang ang Johe. Of course, Mr. Consistency, fighting her for his family. You get UG here para sa ating Ayali Sir Cross Coco on the Leomord, paying for the Franco na pinwera sa mga bands dito. Correct. You got Haze here on the Kufra and Rebo for the Kimi, pulling up the brand esports squad on the blue side. Day 1 pa lang, nakita na natin yung mag-shape ng meta dito dahil sa brand esports nung nilabas nila mm -hmm. si Franco, the Hooker T. Kuya oh, Shinto. Five at, time! Pa, five at, time! Po, five time! Sabi ni Ribo, sabi ni Ribo dito, Aba, ikaw pala ang The Fallen One, ikaw pala ang lumipat. Hindi pwede sa amin yan, Oo, pare. Oo, naman. Alam nyo naman si Ribo, sobrang init yan. Sa camera pa lang, pati sa mga tinatabihan. Grabe <laughs> naman talaga, pare. Having that bounty rune as well, mm. extra 100 gold para kay Kuya Ribo dito. And this is interesting, mm. pare, because mm. this is a Kimi na talagang Gamol na gamol at nasa top lane umis umuesto. <laughs> nasa top lane. Oh. And the interesting part about that one, remember, na on today's match, naglaban na ang Red Esports at Archangel. Yes, yes, The interesting yes. part pa doon is of Rebo Skinny being very punishing against the Archangel squad. Yun nga, eh, ang lineup dito ng Red Esports ay kumbaga parang uh, hidden, ki protect the Kimi lineup. Pero eto ang ejection na magaganap habang si Hayes nakatago pala. Ayan si Lastic Man, pinola bola pa! Ah. Jeff! Cutie talaga! Pinala mo ng bola, tapos dun sa may bandang baba, na-pick up naman si Rodito. Muntikan! Pero kuha dyan! Sana dapat yung bottom lane, outer turret, though no minion wave to be available. That was very unfortunate coming out from Archangel dito. They do want to get that kill para makabawi kahit pa paano doon sa baba. Actually, hook pa nga ni Payne ang nag-initiate noon. So right now, because uh, dahil dalawa na ang napapatay ni paring Ribo dito, extra 200 gold, kailangan na nilang gumalaw, kailangan na nilang mag-take ng mga objectives dito, Kuya Shinbu. At ito na nga ang sinasabi ko, Baring Manjin, sanay uh -huh. na sanay sa isang championship match ang squad ng Bren Esports dito, uh -huh. na mamagang embotido, uh -huh. na nanggagaling mula kay Lasty kasama si Rio, may bawi yung arc. Grabe, puro mga bouncer pala, mga nandito, Kuya Shinbu, binabati ko yung mga tropa nating marshals, uh -huh. dyan sa gilid, isang grok at isang johet ang susugod sa'yo, Parang similar din yung dalawang ulti nila dito, parang Shinbu. Indeed, indeed. Isang, dalawa susugod. 
dalawang sugod, pang protekta sa harit, pang ejection out, nasabi ng mga analyst natin kanina, magandang counter yung Cupra yeah. sa harit. Pero paano kung pinabalibol? Yeah. Si Jeff Cutie yun. Yun na nga mga kaibigan, of course, mga kukompromise yung pwestuhan nga, syempre nung uh -huh. Cupra, Eugene na puro ah. saan ba? Rio, brilliant, si Dima ginagamit, brother, isang mainit na atensyon ang nabasa ngayon kay Kiluas, wala pa rin patay. Oh, Pero hindi, IG. that's gonna be Coco. Nako, mukha na dali ng todo and of course, reposition sila ngayon dito sa may gitna. Overextending si Kapitan mm. Payne at si Kuya Coco dito just want to get that kill para lang doon sa bounty rune. Pero again, sinabi natin, Bouncer Gaming Bouncer. para dito sa Archangel 3C2. Oh, oh, Protektadong oh, protektado sila dito, men. Oh, kahit ano mo baka gusto magpa-picture kay Dogs, dadaan ka muna dadaan sa Bouncer. Dadaan ka muna sa mga Marshall. Sama oh. pa si Kuya Jay na akay din mamaya. Actually, one of the best heroes din pang control sa isang Cupra, Kuya Shin. Ako, Ikitong sabay. Cupra, pinula bola. Dito, mga kaibigan, kakaibang laro to. Pinapaikot-ikutan lang siyempre ni Akay mismo yung bola ng Cupra. Although two tanks against that, ayun, two tanks dealing damage to each other. Totoo. Very unlikely to translate into a kill. Mag mag mukhang magiging uh, dalawang burst of magic damage para dito sa side ng Archangel. Rio having the chaos, uh, chaos assault. It's a good counter, sabihin natin, kay Payne sa mga high HP heroes, 4.5% of the max HP ng kalaban na magiging damage. So Ayun still, na, ano? kahit gano'ng katangke yung Franco dito, magpa ang Franco kasi magpapataas talaga ng HP oh, yan. Oh, oh. Kasi yung second skill niya, mas sumasakit kapag mas mataas yung yes. HP. So surety pa rin, may bawas pa rin. May balance pa rin. Against the health oh, here. Oh. Chaos is activated here by Rio. Pero doon sa likod, nag-flank, in-ejector ka agad si Coco. Oh, my G, si Lasty ang natira dito, pero makunat yan. Oh! Bato balani! <laughs> Bato balani, bitch! Naku po! Oy! Ah, sa bahay ilaw, atras, UG, hindi yata makakonect ng matanas dito yung kanyang stun towards Lusty. But of course, mabaot na lang muna ang bawat isa, hindi! Oh my G! G, napaka-snappy naman ang ma-initiate, pero holy caps! Hooker T! Hooker T! Parang trumpong kinuha pabalik! Pero look at the chaos bots, the chaos assaults mula kay Kuya Ryu dito. Oh my G. Oh my G. We're having ourselves a ball game. One uh -oh. minute, one kill per minute ang nangyayaring laban. Two, three. Parang Shingu. Alam mo ano yung tempo na nangyari sa game na to? Ano? Parang yung Archangel, parang nagulat sila. Oo oh, oh, nga, finals na pala, finals na pala. Ito na, ito na. At yung Bren Esports nang gigigil, sabi, ah, nasan yung mga pakpak nyo? Puputulin namin. Puputuli. Tapos parang later on, at the three minute mark, four minute mark, na-realize ng Archangel, wait, hindi mahalaga kung finals to. Hindi mahalaga. Hindi ba, we're gonna fight as a team. We're gonna give it all. Laban lang kung laban. Speaking of laban, talagang itong si Johed natin na si Jeff Cutie Forever. Sabi niya, gusto kong lumaban dito. High and dry technique. Uh -huh. Nasa kanya, Kuya Shinbu, yung bagong buff. Eto na yung sinasabi. Aliyup! Mga ba kaibigan, oh it's so much done. Jeff Cutie to Rio, Aliyup. Parang oh, oh. Wayne Wade Lebron lang, Kuya Shin. Sarap nung dakdak. Dakdak na dakdak. Kakasabi lang natin, lalaban sila. Yeah. Pero mukhang may laban pa. Ay, may laban pa. Ikot nga sa likod dito ng mataba na Franco. Mukhang hindi yata dadaba. No! Ah. It's gonna be completed. Archangel taking their second kill. So now, ang taba na puno ng bato. Gamit ng bato ni Lasty dito habang si Jeff Cutie. Grabe, this is a very... Very tanky fighter, Johed. Mm -hmm. Kuya Shinbo, even though, even though dalawang beses siya namatay, bawing-bawing siya doon sa bottom lane. Ako po, ito naman yung napansin ko. Actually, uh -huh. no, pundasyon ang Bren Esports. Pero mga pundasyon, konting tulak lang, madalas talaga mabilis matumba. Tignan Kung natin. Ato, baka tumuloy-tuloy to, yun ang problema. Kailangan huminga ng malalim ngayon dito ng Bren Esports. Huwag haya hayaan na, alam mo yun, busing-busingan lang sila ng Archangel. Speaking of busingan, may nahukar tina naman. Pero bukang buhay siya dyan. Dahil lumikot-ikot ngayon si Parang Jay, Tori lang. Tori lang, sabi dito ng Archangel. Ang kulit, no? May nahook ka na nga. Tapos yun. <laughs> Kayo na nga yung may nahook. Kayo pa yun ang pasagan. Parang, parang tinulong mo lang pasagan. <laughs> Pero sabi ng Archangel dito, hindi pwede yan, Captain Payne. Grabe. Napanood na namin yan sa replay. Oh, 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 may mga oh. nag-upload na yan kanina. Nakailang finals Naka na kayo. Nakailang finals na kayo. Da dami na nito. Dami na nitong kopya. Dami na nitong kopya. <laughs> Ngayon pa lang may kopya oh, na to. Hindi pa tapos. Oo, oh, oh, ang MPL... Huwag piratahin totoo. ang kinikin. Totoo, totoo. Pero kung iisipin mo kasi, Kuya Shinbu, yung friend, as much as possible, after a hook, they want to burst down a hero. <laughs> Pero eto, pati yung, pati yung kulong, panahon, pati, pati yung panahon, panahon, pati yung panahon, sumasama sa hype 
ng laban na to. Tingnan natin, sa tagal ng panahon, kumusta na nga ba ang Brent Esports dito? Goes for J, on to the side. Ladies and gentlemen, medyo matindi ang tagundong dito sa Maylea Pavilion, but you can actually see how Park Angel is being very careful. They know the Brent Esports pinakalital sila kapag sama-sama. Totoo, totoo. They just want to, portray, uh, to protect Ribo right now. No. Who Cortina naman, the five-time champ. Can you dig it? Can Mark it? Angel, no. pero sabi ni Lasty, wait a minute. Matigas. 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 Ang, matigas ang Otabs, mga kaibigan. Habang may mga kakaiba tayong nakikita dito for the Asians, but of course, we have to be very mindful of what we mentioned here. Base check, mga oh, kaibigan. And it's gonna be a death check. Din, naibigay para kay Yuji. Grabe, galawang kamilyon para dito sa Archangel. The come of lunch technique. Oo, oh, men. Kuya Shinbu, pero nilabas si Barbell dito. Old Sound Road, I got the horses in the back. Oy! Sabi ni Coco dito, op. Oo, oh, yan, tiginig palayo. At ako sinahabol siya ni Kiluas dito. And of course, hindi namin makakaresponde na mabilisan dito mga membro din ng Brent Esports. Though it forced out the owner of Brilliance, one hook. And from the Lunox, mula kay Rio. This is kind of risky para sa Brent kasi they are really hoping to get hooks to shot, uh, to to sa uh, sabi natin to suppress heroes gamit yung mga crowd control sila ang dami nilang way dito second skill ni Yuji kagat ni Pain oh. uh, ultimate ni Kupra even Coco can oh. actually uh, crowd control Archangel ang nangyayari hindi nagaganap yung gusto nilang plano yeah, hindi yung Proprotect tayo lang si Libo sa likod. Yup, yeah, yeah, so, and of course, Paring Manjin, ito lang din sa mga bagong nanonood kayo, eh, siguro nanonood lang ng MPL dito sa finals natin. Oh, oh, oh. Again, kaya po may Franco. Guys, ulit ko na yung sinasabi ni Doggy, ang Franco ay malakas na peak. Again, the stun is a sure Surety. lockdown mula kay Franco. Surety lockdown, walang cancel, cancel, at binabati ko lahat ng mga no, kids na bibili na ng Franco mamaya <laughs> at gagamitin nila sa mga rank. Hindi, hindi Let's na Tigriel. Hindi na Tigriel. Hindi <laughs> na Tigriel. Pag nawalan ka ng, ng tank, do you have a tank? Hindi na Leslie. Hindi na Leslie. Hindi na Leslie. Hindi na Laila. Franco na. At kapag ikaw, Pinash, dahil nag-Franco pick ka. Sabi mo, pang MPL ang galaw ko. Pang MPL ang galaw ko, boy. Pero eto, speaking of galaw, nagkakagalawan dito, Yashin. Oop. Nako po, tingnan natin kung anong ejector na pwedeng may shadow dito. But you can actually see Lusty getting trapped here. Grabe talaga si Lusty. Sobrang lading hindi kaya siya mapatumba basta hindi lang babalik. Pero ito yung baka priyo, binuntol ni Coco at mukhang address dito. Pero ito ang mga anghel, umilipat na, nilabas ang spada. Ah! Holy Angemon! Sabi ni Kilowas dito, oh my G, hindi la kagat, kinagat ng Seven Lions! Ten minutes in, bawin-bawin, dalawang team, Kuya Shibu. Nako, mga kaibigan, kadenang tanso mula kay Pain. Pare, every time my team fight, kapag may momentum ka, tapos lalayo na in a good distance of Brent Esports dito. Oo, oh, oh. hook sa muka. Hook, hook sa muka, napakabilis lang din ng cooldown. Ilang beses na pinag-usapan ng mga tropa na din sa analyst desk kanina, yung field goal percentage ni Pain. Yabi. Yung accuracy niya dito sa mga hook, Yabi. hindi matatawaran. Around 80%, Kuya Shibu. Paring imagination, ang madugo na rin dito at dadalayin ni Harit. Actually, it's wearing two attack speed dagger. Very curious ko. Dalawang dagger, no? Yata oh. dito. Ewan ko kung Feather of Heaven, but nakalimutan uh, ko na yung, yung combination na yun. Pero Correct. still very bloody. He has the concentrated energy plus Calamity Reaper. Gusto ko yung ginawa ng Archangel dito eh. Talagang nasa pangalan nila eh. Magsisprint sila palipad, Kuya Shinbu. Tatlo sa kanila nakasprint. Sinabi natin kanina, walang makakapigil doon sa brutal massacre ultimate ni Franco. Yeah. Pag hindi ka namatay, sprint, sprint out ka. Sprint, sprint out. out. Takbuhan mo. Takbuhan mo. Mas But, mabilis pa sa kabayo, Kuya Shinbu. So Feather of Heaven, available now for Kilua. She has three core items at the 11 minute mark. Yes, That is yes. so much farm gun talaga to si Kulua. Yes, yes, tama ka dyan. And standing in a, standing in a 2-0-5 din si Pare Rio dito. Uh -oh. So nagiging effective dito yung double mage setup na meron ang side ng Archangel. At ang nasusurpress ngayon ay ang Bren Esports. Yeah, yeah. Wala pa tayong nakikitang isang magandang Tyrant's Rage. Tapos pare, oh. kaya naman kanina pa, oh. ang daming pumipitik kay Lasty, pero hindi matuloy-tuloy yan. Naka-bladed armor, naka-black eye shield din. Kaya naman so, pala. Meron pa mga leather jerk, it's a todo armor lang talaga siya dito. <laughs> kaya naman pala. Eh, syempre, bato yan eh. Pare, oh. si Pain lang ang nakikita akong grabing umatgat ng bato. <laughs> Pero hindi na mamatay. Look, at, look at this life, Kuya Shinbu. Lagpas, uh, lagpas 6K, almost at the 8K Yabi. mark ng buwan. Very interesting. This is the first time that we're seeing an MPL kung saan ang Bred Esports nang galing sa lower bracket. And it seems even the, the place time, they look like the challenger here. Totoo, totoo. At saka mukha, ito yung first time na sila ang tumatagil it, sa game number one. one yeah. Usually, pero meron tayong kasabihan, ito lang ba ang download game? 
na meron ng Brent, Brent Esports rin, oh. na isusulat po sa MPL regular season if they kapag matatalo sila ng game number 1 dina-download lang daw nila dahil sa game number 2 game number 3 aariba sila yeah. pero sa ganitong sitwasyon Kuya Shinbu ang ang pagkakaiba dito nung mga game number 1s nila nung MPL regular season may palag sila uh -oh. ngayon Parang hirap na hirap ang liit ng mapa nila, pare. Ma maliit na nga yung mapa. You can actually see how conservative Brand Esports is approaching this game now. You oh. can actually see the rotations. Nobody's overextending on the first set of rush away mula dun sa kanilang base. Yes. The timer onto the Lord is around 55 seconds. And the thing here is that oh. I think nagbago na talaga generally na playstyle yung Brand Esports. They know that they cannot force out things. So what they are doing here is waiting out for a mistake mula sa Archangel. Most likely, baka maasim na dive mula kay Rio. Isang maasim na, sa na dive at isang magal... <laughs> <laughs> Mula kay Rio, syempre. <laughs> Oo, oh, medyo suki. Kasi Lama, yun, medyo suki lang. Pero bukod pa doon, isang magandang hook din lagi mula kay Faith. Mga limang uh -oh. ganon siguro. Kasi if you you are running a Franco lineup, you you want pick-offs, you want to to initiate with the hook. Sobrang hirap. So kapag hindi nag-cooldown, pwede sila mag-back. At si Coco dito can go for the flank. Ang dilemma niya, kung ipa-flank niya man, yung dalawang carry na meron yung Archangel, this is a harit. This is a Lunox. Yabi. Yung Order Billions, magiging bola lang. Yung Harit, ang daming dashes. Yabi. Pwede siya maglagay ng uh, Zaman Force kapag ginaw siya dito ng kabayo. And so, Brent Esports, really Lord, in a tight situation. Yeah, anywhere, anyone who wants to go near Kiluwash, anyone who wants to go near Kiluwash or Rio, sasapakin lang din pala yung Egypt Cutie. Yeah. I-ano, I I i-eject yun lang, di ba? Uh -oh. Okay, yeah. bit of campaign here. I think somebody spotted there, the Akai naman. Yup, the Moss of Haze. Pinatunog lang, syempre, yung Lord dito. Okay, ito na. Nagkakaroon po tayo, ladies and Lord gentlemen. Lord Siege. Cha -cha 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 the cha-cha dance. Ano, practice, practice. Practice no, na, practice. Si Lord. Alright, ito na. Ito ang surprise na makikita natin. Pumasok na pa oh. dito. Pumasok na din ako. Kayo. Pero mula sa likod, si Kuya Rio There's with the, the assault, boy. Oo nga, mga kaibigan. Ako yata nila yung plak dito. Damage towards Haze, tapos kay Yuji. Mga kaibigan na maalam na. Oh. At nabuti, syempre, buhay dito ni oh. Jet Beauty. Pero in exchange for two. At trap dito ngayon, pati si Coco. Isama mo na rin. Yung Cobra nila. Tangin ah. yung pila ka consistent hindi makauwi si Daddy ayun butik there's the there's the wall mula dun sa glock but this is clearly an easy lord para syempre sa art pero oh my G Rio kakasabi mo kuya Shin baka siya ang mag-asim pero on that specific specific clash ganda nung siya yung nagdala ng ulo nakailang badukit siya dun boy at nakita mo yung rotate Oh. Nakita mo yung sandwich mechanic. The sandwich mechanic? Yeah, the sandwich mechanic. Yung iipitin mo yung kalaban ginawang, mo, jabated lang ginawang, pala yun. Oo, ginawang pala man yung Brent Esports. Ang ginimate si Jeff Cutie forever. Oh. Eh, talagang pag tinignan mo yung mukha ni Jeff, manggigigil ka talaga. Manggigigil ka talaga. Tandaan mo si Jeff Cutie, nagpakulay na ng buhok. Sabi niya, ako na ang bagong ultra instinct. Ginaya na rin siya ni Panda dito na naka ultra instinct form na din, Kuya Shinbu. Let's look into the items ngayon ni Paring Rio. Winter Truncheon. Oh, God. For yeah. the for more mobility. And Holy see. Crystal available as well for oh the Harit. Though no, there is also the Winter Truncheon available na din kay Alice. If ever there's a bait na na-avail dito ng Archangel against Alice, then that would be a nice bait item nga, no? Na oh, mapapitbot mo on top of your ultimate. The Wait. Lord here, I think, andali nito ma-check just because of the king. Let us see ano yung setup. Tignan natin dahil Jay. sumugot na ang Lord dito. Si Paring Jay pumasok sa loob. Nagkaroon ng grab block. Pero pula doon agad si Paring Jay. Nandito si na Paring Lasty. May bola-bola na nagagawa si Haze. Pero ayun, wala pa rin nagkakapatay. Jeff oh. Cutie, umaamba. Nagahawak ka ng tenga. Grabe oh. talaga si Kiluwash. Ubus lahat ng toro nyo. Basta kalaban nyo si Kiluwash. Oh Hindi Jay. lang isa, kundi dalawa. At makikita mo mukhang may hook na magagawa. Brilliance ka agad. Kay under Bro, under Rio. At kera sila mismo dito. Let us see their pain. Saying is goodbye. Lapat pa rin ang kapatayan. Defense na lang. Defense na lang daw sabi ng Brent. Pero mukhang ito na. Game number one. Lilipat at lilipat pa rin. Pero hindi pa tapos. It ain't over player. Still it's over. Si Rio, he wants to correct the mistake. He's still fighting here. Here comes Kinuwash. Psychic through. And that is it. Clearly, game one goes to Archangel. Ilis Rado said, doon sa Sagrak, super dominant yan. It's super, super aggressive, super dominant. May kasabihan nga kami sa term ng, ng ML, kaya niya mang gangster. Early on. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Kaya mang gangster. Mabihira nga naman natin marinig yun. But now, Franco, actually, hindi natin Archangel dito. They have respect for the specific hero, but maybe they're planning something else. Now, Akai is also a very important tank para sa Brandy Sports, and they ban out yung Leomord ng Archangel.
What's next for Real Esports? Are they looking for another tank or so ba nila mag-secure na yung isa ulit fighter? Uh, you know, honestly, uh, for me, Bren has to go back to basics. Stick to what they know, what they're good at. Pick up the Hellcart again. Uh, okay. Napakaganda ng Hellcart on Coco when he ever, whenever he picks it up. When he, whenever he picks it up. And I think if they start showing their experience kung kailan sila mag-split push, you know, their decision-making, it's really, they have really strong fundamentals. And if they let that shine, pick up a Hellcart, uh, maybe even a Kufra, it's gonna Your allow them to win the game. Is picking. Ooh. I like the Kufra. It also prevents the Hellcurt para sa Archangel because Archangel can pick that up to kind of answer the Lunox. But what else ba yung mga pwede nilang pang kontra dito sa Lunox as well as the Kufra from Archangel's side? I think they're lacking another tank if the Cho will be a fighter and then probably a mage for their team. Ang tingin ko kalanan dito is yung sustain. For the first three picks ng Archangel, well, meron nga silang Grok, which is a good frontliner. Well, he can easily gang sa yung sabi ng ating kanina, kahit sinong hero. Pero ang alagaan nila dito is yung ano yung, yung carry. They need to have another hero who will protect and who will support carry for the early stages. Kapag, once na big, once na mag mid game na, excuse me, is most of the time talagang carry will shine. Eh. Pero, uh, well, at the moment, I think this is a Kadita into a Lapu Lapu. I think the stun Ooh, from uh, wow. Lapu Lapu is, is somewhat picking. okay. For, uh, for them to catch the back lines as well kasi sobrang haba na nga nung ano niya. Oh, uh, you know, this made me think kung bakit nila binan yung Franco kasi Lapu-Lapu is a hero na gusto niya lagi siya nakaka-attack at all times. He Kennedy. needs to be online at most times and it will be, uh, the, the Franco would have been great. Hanabi, isang hero na ginamit ng Bren Esports to great success during the group stages. Pinanalo nila to laban sa Signal all that. But now, meron na tayong complete tayo na dito. Now, I want to ask your predictions, starting from Illustrado. Sino mananal? Is this going to be a 1-1 one -one from Archangel? Or from Ready Sports, I mean, or 2-0 para sa Archangel? 2-0 Archangel. Okay, very quickly, okay. Yes, okay. I'm 2-0. 2-0 this Archangel because yung Lapu-Lapu, once na nag siya, nakuha niya yung, yung weapon niyang buo, he can just two-shot the Hanabi. He can just two-shot the Lunox pag naka-dark naka -dark form siya. So, deadly to... Super underrated hero, super OP hero. So, Archangel, they know their stuff. They study their stuff. They do it right. And I think on this one, I'll go for Archangel. All right. How about you, Dads? Bring it again, Bren. Okay. Uh, I'll go for Bren this time. He's always right, Ooh. though, actually. Okay. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 it's not a joke. It's just a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's I uh, decided to more on the drafting kasi. Okay. execution is pare eh. But the reason why I picked up Bren, kasi meron silang mga tanks na kaya mag absorb ng enough damage. And also Akai, ilang beses na nakikita yun, they can take advantage of the, of the uh, Guardian's bari uh, barrier in, in its advantage. So ang laking bagay na when it comes to team fight. Mobile Legends is all about team fighting. And kapag mas marami yung, uh, yung, yung heroes mo to control the fight, you have an edge when it comes to... Uh, late team, mid team fight, so I'll go for okay. Bren. Okay, so dalawa para sa Archangel, isa para sa Bren Esports. Pero ngayon, ibabasa muna natin sa walupay na tandem, it's gonna be Majin and Shade Bull. Sa inyo na muna. Maraming salamat, Kuya Bull, pero mas malupit ang mga Nostra nyo dyan. 2-1 para sa Archangel. Ka kami po ay nagbabalik. Yeah. Ito na. Pasa na daw natin kagad, Kuya Shin. Let's Into go. the game we go, ladies and gentlemen. Again, this is game two of the finals between Archangel versus Bren Esports. For the first time in forever, pinili dito ang tatlong heroes, uh -oh. Kuya Shin Bu. At pare, sa ating ikalawang laban, anong nangyayari? Nagpaparamdam ang ating bayani. Nag ang pinakaunang bayani ng Pilipinas. Ang pinakaunang hater ng Pilipinas. Ang Si, si, si Lapu, Lapu, Lapu Lapu on March 16, mm. 1521. Oh, nako, ano yung CB ka mo? When Philippines was discovered by Magellan. Oh. <laughs> sabi ng Lapu Lapu, Oy, bawal ka dito, boy. Ah, bawal parking dyan. Bawal yun, parking ano, dyan. Ano, pero ano, syempre, dahil nayatap si Lapu Lapu, sabi ng Lapu Lapu, lipat na lang ako sa ML. <laughs> Maraming salamat. Muntun, syempre. Syempre. Sa binabati, papigay. At binabati rin natin, syempre, yung mga entities that made our event possible. Real me, gamely. Maraming salamat. Smart. Yes, yeah, oh. smart sa lahat ng mga sponsors natin. Okay. All right, going Hero. back into the game, ladies and gentlemen. Like what our analyst said, ano tao parang Shinbu, Lapu-Lapu is very underrated. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pero having the high and dry, mukhang gusto nito ng suntukan, gusto nito ng ispadahan. Okay, Archangel on the blue side. Kiluwas para sa Lapu-Lapu. Jay for the show, Rio, right. on the Kadita, Lasty for this grab. Right. And of course, Jeff Kitty forever for the carry. Para naman dito sa side of Bren Esports, Yuji, gagamit ang Lunox. Coco bilang ang Hanabi Payne. Bilang ang Kufra, Haze.
bilang ang kay at si Rivo naman ang gagamit ng thumbs dito kuya Shinbo yep. interesting marksman line up para sa dalawa uh -oh. parehas na uh -oh. a weakness finder ay uh, it's But Electro Flash or Weakness uh -oh, Finder, Kuya uh -oh. Shin. And the interesting part about here, Paring Manjin, is the compositions are designed to actually uh, make the most of the backline damage na pwede manggaling mula sa Hanabi tsaka dito sa Kari. Actually, yes. curious ako, kailangan nyo bantayan kung paano ma-accelerate yung damage nitong dalawa. Correct. Correct. Kasi Turtle ang disenyo nitong, ano, nitong Archangel, you would want to get the touch. At least ma ma makuha mo si Yuji, which is their yeah. enough kit. Tama. Ang problema, hanggang saan, hanggang kailan yung kaya mong i-withstand with the bouncing damage coming in from the petal barrage of Coco. Yun nga mangyayari. And the first blood na wala mm. sila po lapo dito. And again, sorry, it is the Electro Flash. Mm -hmm. Electro Flash. Sinbo, ibig sabihin nito, babackline sila. Kakasabi mo nga, hahanap sila ng ay ng movement speed dito sa mangyayaring Clash. Pero this is, again, a Luno. Oh. Di ba rin Yuji? Okay, pinanakap si Jay, mga kaibigan. Pero lumakap din siya ng bilang paggante. Thousand Pounder sa may ikot ka agad. Swag na swag. At kita mo wasak yung Joe doon. Pero tuloy pa rin ang aksyon. Jet. You get the turtle getting secured here by last team. Bumawi pa rin ang Archangel sa may atras. Habol dito si Laribo. Pero mukhang sila hihito sa may bandang baba. Mamba out. Nabanggit kanina ng mga panel natin. Kaya Shinbu na yung parang si Yuji. Hindi bagay sa kanya yung passive-aggressive type of damage heroes. Kagaya ng Alice kanina. kanina no? Ito talaga ang Lunox God. Hindi naman siya tatawagin Mr. Consistent uh -oh. for nothing, Kuya uh -oh. Shin. Kasi the main difference between the ano, Alice and, and the, the Lunox. Lunox, Alice is leaning more on the setup. He yes, needs yes. to get the proper timing to make that dive for that ultimate round uh -oh. 2 kay Jay na naman dito. Favorite spot, pero this time nasipa ka agad oh. na hindi na binigyan ng chance ang maging mapabola yung Kufra. Another one. Hey, sir, diving. Pero ang ganda ng inipit dito. Sila naman na si Nandwich, hmm. pero mula sa likod, nandito si Paring Coco. Uh, Higan to the bana! Grabe, agawa ng championship. Lahat gusto magka-medal. At tras dito, sila lasti. At kita mo naman, ginagawa pa rin ni Kiluas. Bahala kayo dyan. Bahala Split kayo dyan. Split push sa taas. I am the hero. Oh, Ako oh. pinakaunang bayani. Bayani ng bansa. Bayani ng bansa. Level 6 oh. para dito kay Kiluas dito. And mukhang free ang kanyang mga magiging yeah. objectives dito kay Shinbu. And parang imagine accelerated actually yung goal ni Kiluas dito. Ang bilis, ang bilis. Two, uh, hunting bow here. Very, very close on building the Bloodlust Axe. Kahit, kahit na meron siyang isang death dito kay Shinbu, pero mukhang magiging ma-action nga ang laruan natin kasi even si Jay ay talagang hanap ng hanap ng action. Excited ako makita dito yung true damage uh, output na meron si Jeff Cutie Forever at yung criticals na iyahatid ni Coco, Coco mamaya. Ina inaantay ko din dito. Eh. I want to observe din. I think it's the usual rush on Coco, syempre, on building that Circus Fury. Totoo, totoo. But of course, that's kind of wishful thinking right now kasi mapapansin ko ang taas lagi ng emphasis ng Archangel sa mga side lanes. Sobra. Ta iba nga yung ginagawa nila eh. Parang meron silang kakaibang rotation, yung tinawag nating sandwich. Uh -oh. Yung akala mo, pupronta sila, pero hindi easy. Kutad ka pala. Hindi, hindi pincer, ha? Hindi pincer. Sandwich. Uh -oh. Sandwich. Sandwich. Oh, sandwich. Oh, kakagutom. <laughs> kakagutom talaga. Pero let's see. Uh, Pains Kufra naman dito, Kuya Shinbu. Very commendable din. Isa sa mga first row players oh. na nakadiscover sa abilities ng Kufra. He can use it against the yeah. Black Block. But meanwhile... Iba ang kwento dito kina Coco. Oh, mm. Pinasa, pinasa. Yeah, Coco lahat, Coco lahat, Coco pinasa. Lahat, Coco pinigil lang ang Shuriken. Dalawa lang pero kulang pa rin. And look at that. Actually, very curious. Anong ginawa ni Lasty? Nakuha ba yung turtle? We have no idea for that one. Pero lagi na lang ganun. Lagi talaga. Ganun na tiwala ng Archangel kay Lasty. Iiwan siya para siya yung tumingas <laughs> ng turtle. Hindi mawawasak ang puso ni Lasty Max. Last Yan man. ang lagi niyong tatandaan. Pero ang lamang dito sa ating laban paring Shinbu, Bren Esports yeah. Rebo, having 3 assists, instant bloodlust axe. Kapag thumbs ka, may ganyan kay item, oh. pwede ka nang gumera hanggang Yun dulo. lang, nadali doon si Coco. Pero siguro okay na rin. Nakumpleto ang, nakumpleto ang mission at nakukuha pa rin naman yung outer mid lane yet. Circus Fury already available for Coco. Interestingly, Rebo there was faster in taking the bloodlust axe by 1 second lang naman against Kinua. So ibig sabihin, hindi lang si Kinua siya lamang dito, pati rin si Rebo. Tapos kaya tayo sa mewan ng gitna. Tingnan natin kung sino mawawala. There goes Yuji. Goes for the Chaos Targeting. Bumabadukin, bumabadukin lang si paring UG okay, dito okay. at mukhang na-depensahan ng Bren ang kanilang Tori dyan. Meanwhile, there's going to be a free space na magmumula naman kay paring Coco doon sa taas. Kakasabi mo nga ko yung Shibu, yung Circus Fury, instant crit type para kay Hanabi. Yep. Tawag na natin sa kanya dito, Krinitan. 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 Ang, Krinitan. Ba ang favorite nating, <laughs> ang favorite nating member <laughs> ng crit squad. Okay. <laughs> Let's see here, another one. On to Lasty. Lagi talagang nakakapanggigil. Oh, Bigyan Yoyo dito oh, na Rebo. Oh, Yuji, oh, Padukin! Oh. Padukin! 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 Yabi! And uh, eto na yung sinasabi natin, Mr. Consistent. 3-0-1. Highest KDA. Yeah. 
sa MPL Season 3. You know, Harry, Lunox, him, this kind of hero na high tempo talaga kay Yuji. Yes. He's really gonna make waves. Isa sa mga laking gustong-gusto kong tandem talaga pag nagsasama yan. Either Yuji, Rebo, Yuji, Hayes. Yun na nga eh. Basta kahit sino isama mo ka Yuji, Kuya Shifu. Lagi kang may consistent na follow-up. Your dad got you. Yun na nga ba. Your dad, the mage dad got you. The mage dad. Ang dami na niyang moniker dito. Mage dad, Mr. Consistent. Dahil nga sobrang galing. Having that 4.5% na magic damage to the max HP ng kalaban mo kapag level 6 itong Chaos ano Chaos Assault paring Shifu oo oh, oh, nga Ta pala speaking of Mage Dad binabati ko nga pala ang mga pamilyang nanunood po ah, ngayon maraming salamat dyan sa broadcast natin at syempre dito sa venue pati yung mga pamilya ng players natin totoo na salt na naman ang mga moms ay Dito mga moms salamat na to nako po si Jack hihilig sa pwestong yan tingnan natin kung meron pang isang mabubuhang mula sa side dito ng Archangel no wala naman Giluwas trabaho Ta lang grabe si Giluwas <laughs> dito ang tunay na hunter <laughs> X-Hunter, parang Shibu, sabi ni Ribo. Hoy, teka, wag mong gagamulin yung top lane namin, ha. Ang ginagawa ni Kuluwas dito, nare-reset niya yung gustong tempo gawin ng Bren. Yeah, sa, sa ibang bahagi ng mapa. Sa ibang bahagi ng mapa. And this is very interesting kasi you don't usually see Bren na silang nagre-react sa isang push, Kuya Shibu. Here's Eto another na towards last team, but this time that is a crack na na corner. At apat ngayon yung nagigigil mula dito sa Bren Esports. Gigil, There nagigil. might be no chance to contest this push into this inner bottom lane turret. Gigil na gigil yeah, si Kapitan no Payne dito. Tignan mo yung box out na ginagawa niya dito by using the Cupra. And right now, Archangel... One on one! One on one with the great one! Jeff Cutie, Cutie versus Rebo. Okay, okay. okay Mamba out. Yeah, Mamba out. Mamba out. Both of these teams, okay sila sa mga makukunat na line up paring Shinbu. Pero kung iisipin mo, parang mas lamang sa malayo ang uh, instant burst ang side ng Bren Esports yeah, yeah. dahil dito kay UG Lunox. Yeah, yung three-man squad nung uh, Bren Esports mas solid ngayon. As in, when they converge, I would lean more on Bren Esports winning. Pero again, may oh isang pang-approach yung Archangel dito sa mapa. Oh and that kill. is a, a different approach para sa game natin. And that would be to control the map. Pero not like this. Tingnan mo naman si Kadita doon. Nanuyot. Nanuyot, nanuyot. Mga kaibigan, para dito kay Griyo. And again, si, si Rio din kanina yung gumamit ng Lunox dito. And actually, Kadita, hindi rin siya action Jackson siya, pero parang passive din yung galaw eh. Yeah, Kasi yeah, you're waiting for the setup of the yeah. Red of the Ocean, tapos ramp waves up. K Kadita is actually a responsive hero. Hindi siya yes. yung usual na ginagamit mo pag setup talaga. Oh, oh, oh. Inaantay mo na lumapit yung kalaban, saka mo babatiin ng tubig. Kung baga yung parang may piyesta. Tama, sa, <laughs> piyesta ng San Juan. Oo, na San Juan. Parang piyesta ng San Juan. Ano yun, nas, nakasakay ka sa Jeep Beast, na beast ka, aakit ka ng ligaw, tapos sasabuyan ka ng tubig. Yun nga, mangyayari, binabati ko lahat ng mga taga San Juan, mm. pero nasa Pasay tayo ngayon. <laughs> Kuya Shinbu, sabi dito na Bren Esports. Teka lang, babasagin namin yung top. Huwag na kayong maingay dyan. Pero kala, op, medyo pulado lang ang ating tori dito right yeah. now. Walang, walang minion wave. Nagkakatansyaan na itong dalawa si Jay. Oh, Parang Shinbu, speaking of Jay, nahihirapan din siya mag-land ng 1-2 punch dito. Kasi yung line-up ng Bren Esports, ano eh, you have the lifesteal muna sa Tams. Ayaw mo naman Cupra ang sipain mo. Even to magandang counter. Medyo napila yung show niya eh. Injury, injury. Ilang injury yung nakuha niya doon sa may bandang baba. Now, in good control, itong Bren Esports dito sa ating mapa. Sama mo pa yung immortality dito. Hindi yan magsasawa si Hayes na mag-dive. Oh my J, sabi ng Bren, kalit na kami. Kalit na kami. We will avenge game number one. Sabi ng Bren dito, Avengers oh. Assemble. Ano Dahil pupunta sila dito sa meeting, Kuya Shin. Ako sa may bandai. Of course, no minion wave pa. They're trying to get the proper opportunity. They don't want to get pinned down and be divided by the wall. Dito ni Lasty. And so far, they're just punishing the main crowd control mula dito and that is actually Jay. Napansin ko lang, no? Yung multi-target knock-up nila. Oo. Oh, oh. Jay lang pala talaga, no? Mahirap, mahirap. Ay, well, may, may knock-up din kay Kadita pero ang dali-edad nun nila. Mandali-edad siya. Yung ang magiging dilemma dito ng Archangel kasi yung sugod nila basa kung saan mang gagaling eh. Unlike the Cupra, from long distance, coast to coast. Mm. Mula Baclaran hanggang SM North EDSA, ganun. Ganun kalayo. Walking yung distance. Yung second no? skill. Walking distance. Walking, walking distance. Walking, walking distance. <laughs> pero walking distance. <laughs> Tignan natin. Paglakad mo, no, pagdating mo ng North, kamukha mo na si Grak. Kamukha, ano ka na, warrior ka warrior. na. Ganun. Para ka ng si Lapu-Lapu. Speaking of Lapu-Lapu, wala pa siyang nakukuha kahit isa dito, paring Shinbu. Nagbaliktad bigla yung ating laban. Si Kanina, ganito ka surprise yung Red Esports. Time mo lang kasi bayani yan eh. Siyempre, ah, tama, tama. Bayani, yan. nagpapabugbog sa Nagbu una. Naisusulat. 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 Oh, yeah. Nagpapabugbog sa umpisa, okay. pero time out, substitution. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
Bren Esports right now, sila ang nagdidikta ng gera, Kuya Shin. Yeah, I think so. I think the pause would come in from the side ng uh, Bren yata dito. But of course, our uh, marshals and league ops to handle that one. At least naging chill. No? Chill, chill. Kanina chill, kasi chill. parang yung, yung game one natin, ayaw magpatawad eh. Oo nga eh, parang <laughs> ano eh. Kasama pa ng prot, grabe naman yung MET. Grabe ang MET. Ngayon lang nakakita ng esports production na may kulog-kulog pa. May, may kulog pa, pa kulog pati, pati yung ano, pati yung... <laughs> Yung panahon ay oh. sumang-ayon, kumukulog. <laughs> ang laban, tanda mo, Kuya Shane, bo, pag may kulog, may anghel. Pwedeng oh, may ganun. Pwede, no? oh. Pwedeng may ganun ang dati. And, ayun nga, uh, medyo mas stone down itong ating game to poise ang Bren Esports na maitulak ito sa isang 1-1. Yeah. And actually, kung ako hindi mo na kasama ng panel, ang call ko dito is actually a 3-2. Pwede, yeah, no? no? Uh, Pili ko nga, uh, game number 5. May 5 eh. talaga sa to. Sa ganito kainit uh, na laruan, itong dalawang team, Itong dalawang team, medyo malabo sila ma-3-0. Ito yung mga kalibre ng team na hindi mo tini 3 eh. Ganadong ganado eh. Hindi ka pwede magkamali. Bawal kang pasma. Bawal may tumawag sa'yo mm -hmm. sa phone mo. Ch Kung baga, chill lang muna sila yeah. ngayon. Eh, yeah. Parang imagine, oh. binabati ko rin Sige. lahat ng mga pro teams natin na nakasama natin dito sa playoffs. Maraming Grabe. salamat. Grabe. Yeah. Every time that uh, uh, a team gets dropped, tinitingnan ko lagi kung uh, ano yung reaction nila. And isa lang talaga masabi ko, sobrang bigat talaga ng buhay ng isang pagiging isang pro. Pagiging... Hindi biro talaga. Kasi kailangan mong manalo. That's Oo. the pressure na meron Oo. sa'yo. Oo. You yung need to win. That's it. Oo. Yung alam mong ibinigay mo lahat. Yung right. best mo. Pero Oo. yung game pa rin yung magdidiktate ng fate mo. Correct. Let us see here. We are just down to the last two player. Eto na. Nako, eto pinompiang na Pips. ni Kuya Payne. At sinagyan Oo. ng bulaklak sakto Yabi. summer para dito sa Bren Esports. And that's reminiscent of the setup na ginawa din ni Tets on Kufra. <laughs> Laging hindi. Laging Laging nasa isa tapos dyan. Laging dyan na uuntog. Oh, yung dumulong yan. Oh, yung, yung pwesto na yan, dyan lagi inuuntog yung, yung mga yung, kalaban. Yan o, yung hinigaan ni Jay. Oo, oh, ganda ng higaan ni Jay. <laughs> Pero right now, lady, ladies and gentlemen, Archangel, meron pa ba silang mga kapitan dito? Unti-unti na bang tinatanggal ang mga pakpak nila? Kasi kung titignan nyo ang mapa, may objective tayong mga nakikita para sa side ng Bren Esports. Lako, larong kira ko lo. Nakakaipit na naman. Nakai this place, Jeff Cutie forever. There is no way that he can actually survive that one. That is a very curious positioning then. Oh, Mula doon kay Jay. Again, hindi ka man tatapaan ng, ta matatamaan ng 1,000 pounder. Oh, oh. Merong movement speed bonus. Oh, yung Yuri oh. game dance, matataya at matataya ka dyan. Madidisplace at madidisplace ka dyan. Ito na naman, oh. yung Joe na pilay. Tingnan natin kung kaya bang mabuhay. Says down by the Thamus here. Lord, getting focus here by Brad Esports. Yung Lord, nagtataka na. Teka, <laughs> nagtataka ito, kayo, kayo hindi. Sandali lang, kalma. <laughs> Babalik ako dito habang si Rio. Ah, makikita ninyo. Naku po. They are Friend. out for blood. They are Baking. out for blood. Picking them one by one, Kuya Yes, mga kaibigan. Siguro nga hindi pa napuputol yung pakpak, pero yung feathers nararamdaman ko. Sinasabunutan. Sinasabunutan. Ang esports dito. Naku po, ladies and gentlemen. Kina Lasty! Lasty Mac. Lasty Mac. Oh, He ano will try his best, Kuya Shin. Ito si Lasty. Ito yung ano, last steel, di ba? Last steel. Grabe last yan. Deal. Grabe yan sa Lord. So, sisigurado yun na yata nila. Oh my G. Hindi natin na binigyan ng chance, ha? At wasak. Doon na wasak ang puso ni Lasty Mac dahil yung Lord nagtataka na naman. Audition! Pumasok si Galuwas dito pero makukuha ni Mr. Consistent oh. ang Lord. At naku po, nag-audition. Nag-audition, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, ang Archangel. And of course, mitigating that plan ang ginawa na lang ni Jeff Cutie forever is go for the push here into the bottom lane side. It's not yet over. I think that is the first Lord pa lang naman ang laro natin. Again, sa composition na merong lapu-lapu at meron din carry. Medyo madali ba depensa niya? Medyo napakadali nga lang. And of course, this is the Lord na pwede, pwede nang samahan ng Bren. Susugod na. Oo. Yeah! May napansin lang pala ako, pare. Oo. Oh. May hihanabi nga pala. Naku, tayang-taya sila lahat dyan. Nakahagip pa, nakahagip si Jeff. Look at the damage nung hanabi kanina, pare. Yung crits, 1k. So, ibig sabihin, tanggal ka agad yung isang chunk ng bar mo doon sa iyong life points. Habang huli na si naman Jay. si Jay dito na medyo na pilay. And Bren right now, lumipat Wala na ang camera million. sa kanila. Yeah. Tignan natin, kinuha siya labas ang kanyang laser sword. May palago siya dito pero nag-audition na naman. Ah. Eh, sabi nga ng Bren dito, this and another one. Yeah. Game 2, ladies and gentlemen. Yan ang sigurado. They have an opinion way. Bonus na lang na makapatay ng ibang membro ng Archangel John. It's gonna be a wipe, an ace in the base. And you can actually see here that Brand Esports will be taking Game 2 sa ating Grand Finals. Hindi pwedeng 2-0. Walang 2-0. Walang 2-0. Dapat 2-1, 3-2, 3-1. Ganun. Oo. Umuulan, pero mainit ang laban. We have here, we have got ourselves a scene. Archangel the same, and like Illustrator said, Archangel 
is there's so many tricky dun sa pick nila. Masyadon tricky sa mga pick. Masyadon silang nag over over commit commit yeah. for that pick. So ay ay naging problema nila. I think if they gonna do that, it need to be a, a insurance to win. Kasi this is crucial right now. Harit, siyempre mo open. Kimi already banned out. Harit, Brock, and uh, pr Your probably the Le Lunox as well. Yeah. Anong pwede mapili dito ng Brainy Sports. But I think that they prioritize Harit pa rin. Yeah. yeah. I, I, honestly, I like the fact that they banned Lunox. I mean, kasi alam naman natin na si Bren, mahilig din siya mag-approach ng game from a two-mage perspective. You take that possibility away from them kasi napaka-limitado nga natin when it comes to those, uh, those uh, you know, assassin, those mages. But the beautiful thing is Your that is Archangel picking. now have gotten that, uh, that Claude. Claude na feeling na Archangel, like you said, as well as the Grok. Pero itong Claude, napakatapang ng Archangel to pick up the Claude early, at this early point. Well, we know naman na yung Claude, napakahirap kontra it. I wanna ask the pros, ano yung mga pang-kontra or pang-sagot sa Claude? I mean, sa akin, na-predict ko to kaganina na sure, pag kinuha na yung Harry, tapos kinuha ng Archangel, yung Grok and Claude, instantly, they will go for that Chu and Leomord, because they can, like, pwede nilang i- i-dominant tong pick draft na to, kasi isipin ng Archangel, ano yan Chu niyan? It will be a fighter or a tank. Leomord is exceptionally super strong. Pwede niyang i-harass si Claude if Claude doesn't know how to position well. So funny. this is super risky. And then picking that um, on Archangel, taking that Esmeralda is good enough to sustain. But, paano nila gagawin yan if Ren will initiate directly pag yeah. habang wala pang shield si Esmeralda? Yeah. Totoo yun. Eh, well, adding to that, kasi yung Claude, well, ang, ang only escape mechanism nun niya is the BMI or, or the battle mirror image. Kung sakaling, sino mag-initiate? Si, si, si Joe mag-initiate, meron lagi nag-aabang na, na Leomord sa, sa kabila. Or vice versa, ganun din. So, one of the best ways to control the Claude is at least take Your down, control him early game. Kung sakaling hindi mo siya makontrol early game, at least focus fire. Dapat lahat ng, ano, lahat ng uh, cool damage ibabot sa kanya. But uh, again, making it more difficult for uh, for AA. Yung Esmeralda, tingin ko maganda rin. But uh, I think it's not that enough. Kulang pa siya when it comes to lockdown. So I think dito, picking. kung nakita natin, binan nila yung, yung Aka. I think Bren is going for that um, Franco pick. And tinanggal na nila Aka, like you said, na yun yung magiging counter sa kanya. So, 80% they might pick the Franco again since we ha uh, we saw that Archangel have that grok but Archangel they have the last pick they can counter initiate that pick so it's all about Archangel now on that last pick all right now the view of the Guinevere now can be like dito ng Archangel actually yung mga teams natin ngayon para ang bilis nila pumili Esmeralda as well as the Guinevere very strong damage source para sa Archangel. A lot of control as well coming out from this Guinevere. Hindi ganun kaganda win rate ng Guinevere overall. Pero sa Archangel, it's actually really successful. Na natural para sa mga teams. Naturally, will pick the carry laban sa isang Claude. And this time, since carry is available, Brenny Sports are considering it. Is this the right decision para sa Brenny Sports to, ca to answer the Claude with the carry? I mean, Rebo, he's super versatile. If you're gonna use that... um. If you're gonna use that carry, we know how he play carry. He's basically the one playing the carry on uh, on Brent's side. And then ako uh, going for that um, Leomort, it depends, it can switch up. But I'm pretty sure it will be Rebo. He can domin dominate that Claude because he know when to go in, when to dominate, when he reach certain level. Oh, I particularly like itong Bellerick no. laban sa Claude. It's kind of a classic counter. Dahil meron ka nga ng Flower of Life. And again, the damage from Claude is, uh, you know, maliliit na para maraming beses ka mag-dish ng damage. Which means na mas maraming beses mag-proc yung Flower of Life mo. It's one of those natural counters. But for Archangel, mukhang gusto nilang gamitin yeah. ang pinangla pinanglalasa ng Brady Sports, the Franco themselves. We actually talked about this a little bit earlier. Using Archangel, kaya nilang gamitin yung Franco. They've shown yes. it to us before. And the fact that uh, already walang Akai means Ooh. that they can do it. Instead, of course, they go to pick the Mincitar, which is really, really good. Gusto gusto ko yung Mincitar pick. It's gonna help them wow. get to the back lines, get to that carry, and at the same time, um, nullify, uh, help them when it comes to a team fight situation. Meron na silang rock. So, I really think this Mincitar is honestly a really great pick. Wow. This Mincitar actually answers the Leo Mort and the Joe. Dahil hindi pwede mag Junpo, hindi pwede mag uh, Jit Kundo, as well as yung ultimate ni... Uh, ni Leo Mord habang nasa ultimate niya ni uh, Mincitar but of, of course mahirap nga namang gamitin yun now I wanna ask you very quickly sino makakuha ng match point dito let's start with Illustrado uh, for me uh, Archangel because Archangel. I, I think the Mincitar is honestly a really really great pick it answers like 3 out of the 5 heroes on the side you know of Brandy Sports okay uh, now, how about you Oya Doggy ano yung sayo <laughs> 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 um, so 
Gusto ko kay Misitar, another pick, another new pick coming from this meta. That's the new se- uh, meta from Season 3. Now they have it on Season 3. Yung alabas na nila. It's, a, it's super very good pick kasi first thing first, yung carry, second skill, dash. Play more, dash. Oh, uh, pag may kabayo, oh, dash. Um, Harit, two. two. Basically, na, uh, four, na, sorry, four na hero pick ng Brent is using dash skin. So, with that pick, it's super good. And if ang um, Brent may Franco, ang <laughs> Archangel, they have that means it hard to pull yeah. someone off. Clear floor, of course. So, uh, Archangel, uh, ba rin? Archangel. Kuya Togi, how about you, Kuya Tads? Brent ako dito. Ay, naku! Hindi, bakit? Kasi meron Bellerick. Akala ko nung una, nung, nung inover nila yung Franco, which is a very good thing against Bellerick. Once nag nature shield siya, may aalis niya kagad on top of, or when it comes to clashes, may hihiwalay niya yung Bellerick sa team fight. Mm-hmm. Pero nung mag- nag-minsitar sila, yung hook kasi niya, kung merong hero sa likod ni Bellerick, yun yung mahuhook, hindi si Bellerick. That's true. So, yun yung pwedeng pang kutro. But it's sustainability, plus the factor of flower of life, sabi mo nga kanina, sa Claude, isa sa mga hard counters ng Claude. Uh, well, all about execution pa tayo sila, but looking at the drafts, I'll go for Brent. Okay, Brent, para kay Twitter, ito na perfect pa rin sa kanyang mga predictions. Doggy naman, hindi pa rin nakakatama until now. But for now, hindi natin kumakatama naman ang ating mga shoutcaster. It's gonna be time for Manjin and Shinbu. Maraming salamat, Bolt. At syempre, sa ating mga panel, tama ka dyan. Siguradong malakas ang tama ng ating narot. Lalo pat, Game 3 na, 1-1. Yung ating race to 3, paunahan, makadalawang palalo. Mga kaibigan, Archangel versus Brent Esports. Instant reset atin ng iba to kagad. Sa laro, let's go, Pompiang Technique. <laughs> Red side ang Archangel at Bren ang blue side. Best of three na po. Lagi, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, for those guys na bago, uh, bago sa esports, oh. iba po ang mentality kapag lalaro ka ng best of five. Oh, 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 oh. Mm-hmm. As in, laro ng momentum yan eh. Tapos, oh. grabe, ang daming mga techniques ang nare-reveal talaga dyan. Totoo. Clearly, yung draft later on, nag adjust based on the draft that was witnessed on the earlier games. Correct. Mga kaibigan, on the blue side ay ang Bren Esports Squad. Yuji onto the Harry Coco for the carry pain. Oh. Para oh. syempre sa Beleric. Oh. Ay, nako! Oh, nako! Ay, malanti ata mga ah. kaibigan! Ay. Ginulayan ni Norma! Oh, ay, one-one! Nagkakagigilan. Hey, so onto the Joe Rebo para sa Leo Mord. At si Kuluwas naman gagamit ng Guinevere. Jeff Cutie for Everett Claude, Rio ang gagamit ng Esmeralda, Lusty ang Grok, and Jay ang Minsitar, Kuya Shinbu, oh. Luge ang Claude, 1v1, level 1, oh. sa isang true damage passive na yeah. meron ng isang carry. Totoo yan. Actually, may kasama naman si Claude doon, si Dexter, pero medyo payat. Medyo payat, 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 tama, tama, so, tama. Talaga lugi talaga siya doon sa 2v1 scenario na yon. Anyway guys, para mas lalong mag-init pa itong ating laban, the real, sa real me boot po, may clappers na pinamimigay. There are clappers na given na the real me boot, so make some noise with that. UG here, almost getting touched there by the energy wave. Buti ka na, pero one month pa rin naman tayo ngayon. Correct, hashtag real gaming bro. And syempre, binabati ko rin ang game lead ng smart. Pero kung yung Shinbu na ibigay na ngayon kay Mage Dad UG, mm. another action Jackson type of hero, oh. the Harit pare. Dalawa yan, di ba? Oh. Lunox o oh, Harit. Or kahit Bakay ano, bigan. basta action Jackson. Mm. Hindi yung mga passive, se- passive setup dito. And this is a classic then. Kasi makikita natin ulit ngayon si Hayes. si Hayes on the show. And that is a tank emblem show, ha? Correct, tank emblem. Magpapakunan sila dito. Pero sure, Yuket! Sabi ni Kiluwash dito, Ooh. there you go. Second kill para dito sa Arcade. This is a very, very interesting Kiluwash. Hindi si Rio ang, ang nasa Gwenevere, no? Oh. Oo, nako. Pero they're shutting down Jeff Cutie. Yeah. Ja- sabi ni Jeff Cutie dito, nako. He is actually at the dangerous spot. Kuya Shinbu, kasi mas mahihirapan siya kumuha ng farm dito. De, actually, this is now a dead lane para kay Kuya mo, kay Kuya mo, Jeff Cutie forever. But, pero nakapatay siya ng isa. Yeah, yung 1-1 kanina. Oh, yung 1-1 kanina. Yung 1-1 kanina, kanina, kanina kay Pain. So, parang sila 1-1 nga nung Beleric dito. Nung Beleric, yeah. Actually, yeah, na-push out nga si Claude doon. Expected naman yun. Mini-roar na lang ng Archangel na makakuha din sila ng Turtle of Their Own. Oh, oh gra- nakita mo yung ano? Yung predictions, oh, oh, oh. pero pumasok oh, sila oh. parang last ni Jan. Sabi dito ni Kuya Ribo, ako din. Ako <laughs> din, meron. Guys, napapansin nyo kung paano yung mga pro players maglaro. Predict. Na, nag-hook pa lang si Min Sitar, nakatutok na yung mga talon ni si Esmeralda at ni Guinevere. Kung baga parang si Doctor Strange dito, si ano, <laughs> si Kuya Kiluwash. Nakita niya yung mga possibilities yun nga lang, hindi ito ma- advance pa sa advance, Kuya Shinbu. Kung baga, na, nauna pa sa first. Nauna pa sa nauna first. Pa sa first. So, Mahirap yung kapag nauna ka sa first. At early ka pa sa maaga. Totoo, Minsan, totoo. wala sa hulog yung ganun, di ba? Yun na nga nangyayari dyan, pare ko. One, two, one kill per minute ang nangyayari. 
Marksman set up ang dalawa dito. I like the Guinevere actually and the Esmeralda yeah. combination para dito sa Archangel. I'm, I'm very curious nga eh. Like Kiluas, Guinevere is actually a proactive hero. Hindi oh. ito yung usual na pinapag-split push mo. Totoo. Nakaibang approach ngayon ito ng Archangel. As in, ganito ba? Ka-flexible talaga Archangel. As in, Ayan na. Ayan na. It's on the bottom lane side. Tingnan natin. Volvasor activated. Yung kanyang ultimation. At kita mo naman, wala pa rin mag-agawang sagot doon sa taas naman. Bitin na bitin ang Pokeball. Pero may hila na magaganap. Pero mukhang walang mapapatay. Ladies and gentlemen, actually, kinuha siyang nawala. Jay. Pero si Jay, nako si Kuya Jay. Oh, Ay. pero baka UG yan. Mr. Okay. Consistent. Shaken and Shake bacon. Shaken and bacon. Mahatukin, no? Mahatukin. Sumasonic boom, <laughs> Pesci, no? <laughs> Nako po, mga init, mainit, mainit. Ma ito yung game 3. Mainit talaga yung laban. Game 1, Archangel. Game 2, Brent Sports. Game, game 3 sa atin. Ganito yung ano yung mapagpigil hiningang game. Yabi. Mga Bobby, mm -mm. habang si Lasty sumusubok dito ang depensahan ng kanilang tore sa bandang top lane, papasok dito si Jay. Okay. Yes, nag-lock block, pero grabe naman. Yeah. Dash in, ja dash in, dash out. At di naman makakatuhog din doon. Siyempre yung mainstar natin with the Spear of Glory. Turtle is now up into the map. Ladies and gentlemen, Coco being seen here into the mid lane side. Okay, okay. Tignan natin dito. Actually, yeah. uh, the carry is a good counter then sa Grok, Kuya Shinbu. 7 oh. to 12% to 12 no damage on the passive. By the way nga pao pala, sa information ng mga viewers namin, for yes. the most part, yung shoutcast namin dito, ang karamihan talagang mababagit lang namin ay kung ano yung obvious Totoo. na nakikita ng player. At very best, we won't be giving out any information, any clue, any hints kung ano nagaganap at tinatago ng mga players natin dito kasi medyo semi-rinig pa eh. Ay. Tama, tama, tama ka dyan. Pero mukhang okay na natin sabihin dahil ang unang Totoo. bagong ay mapupunta sa Archangel. So you want that exchange na, na may pick oh. sa bandang taas pero sa bandang gitna oh. sino ang nawala si Kapitan sa Kapitan tatlo na yung deaths ni Pain doon at ito nga ba yung sinasabi ni Doggy na baka oh. may tiltation oh. na nagigalik kay Pain Haze shaken and bacon dead at mukhang buhay pa si Haze hindi natuluyan ni Esmeralda dito sakto sa Aladdin and now sumunod na lang din yung ating Leo Mord oh. three members of Bren Esports getting clapped there by Archangel the Arabian Jutsu mula sa Archangel dito Esmeralda in combination with Jay, the oh. main sitar ko Yashinbu. Sa loob pa kayo ng King's Landing lalaban. At hindi ako makapaniwala, kayang-kaya pala talaga galawin ni Kinuas ang Guinevere. Ang Guinevere. Oh. Boy, it, siya ang nag-initiate. Yeah, it makes your team a very, very flexible. Gets? Grab. Akala ko, puro lang split push, puro lang damos, puro lang uh, hayabusa. Di si parang kiluwas, hindi, may Guinevere pala hindi din. Hindi pala pwede yun. Yeah, fighter din naman si Guinevere. Totoo. Pero I was thinking for the most part that it is of Rio, na Guinevere player nila. She is considered a fighter mage. Mm -hmm. Parang Shinbo, hybrid ang galawan niya dito. And of course, with that passive, susundan at susundan ka talaga ng kanyang psycho ball. Yabi. Sina psycho ka rin yan. And the more na meron oh. kayong knock up, mas mainit kayo. And ang mahirap kasi sa Queen Bay, if you are running a marksman lineup, kung aasa kayo sa normal hits, oh. kapag special migration niya, automatic yung una mong i-hit oh. yung oh. illusion. Yan, si Ribo, nagkakabal ng babae Ayan, no. dito. Oh. Mga kaibigan. Okay, Kilu psycho ball. Si Kiluas yan, si Kiluas yan. Tinusok, tinusok. tinusok si Sibahe, tinusok. lamon pa! Ay, bahay ng Electric Queen! Yabi, wala na siyang special migration na pwedeng magawa. Oy, oh! Me meron! Hindi, alam po, special, special migration, Kuya Shin. Ah! May magic tap, pero andun pa rin si Ribo. Basta babae ka, tutukin ka. Stick them with the pointy end, sabi dito ni paring Ribo. Hindi pwede yan. Hindi pwede yan. Hindi pwede yan. Wala ka na Tusok Gaming, ladies and gentlemen. Hari ng tusok. Ang hari ng tusok, mga kaibigan. But meanwhile, Claude dito, Jeff Cutie Forever, Demon Hunter Sword, Golden Stop, pwede na pumalag. Falling Star Moon. Okay, okay. Falling Star Moon. Still the shield on that one. Nakapon si Coco at getting shot down dito. Ni Jeff Cutie Forever. Tower time, baby. Oh my G. Eto na ang blazing duet. Eto ang <laughs> ayaw mo, paring Shin. Napakaagan nito ah. Namatay si, Co si Jeff Cutie Forever kanina. Pero around 6 minutes, uh, the 6 minute. Mark, uh -oh. meron siya kagad dalawang core item. Yun nga eh. And you don't want that kasi ang Coco, ang, uh, ang isang Claude, aasa yan mamaya Pala sa Art of Divery. Palagi wala na lang. lang. Palagi na lang. Napapansin ko yung mga Claude, they usually wait out to really get into that late game to be that unstoppable force yes. na to be the count win. Pagpasok ng late game. Pero si Jeff, hindi. Anong late game, late game? Late game, late game. Sasama, alam mo, lumipat ako sa team na to. Sasamahan at sasamahan ko to. Hindi lang sa dulo, sa simula pa lang. Simula pa lang. And sabi ni Jeff Cutie Forever dito, I'm taking my talents. I'm taking my I'm talents. Taking my talents. Tumunyos. Tumunyos. <laughs> Ako ang bagong Kevin Durant. <laughs> I'm a join a new team.
Yun na magiging storyline dito mga kaibigan. Pero 4-9. Nako, nako, eto na naman kung sino ata yung nasa blue side, yun ata ang nalulugi. Eh, 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 and ewan ko, on this kind of play, there is a heavy demand to turn things around. Pwede. To get a multi-target knockoff, to get a multi-target crowd control. Yes. And same situation ni Jay kanina. Si Hayes lang ang available nun. You would have wished na merong Minotaur si Pain dito. But of course, Pain's job is to mitigate, soak up the damage using the ultimate double Larry. Totoo, yung lineup din kasi dito ng Bren Esports, medyo bitin sa Royal Rumble fight eh. Sa oh. sabayang pagbigkas, sabayang suntukan. Meanwhile, like Angel, ang dami nilang setup para maibigay kay Jeff Cutie Forever yung Art of TV rebuff na pag umabot ng 10 stacks, para kang may libreng sprint. Yep. Kahit mag-sprint ka, tapos 10 stacks yun, habol, habol na habol ka, ka ni Jeff Cutie. Wala lang kailangan na BMI. Wala na BMI. Wala na BMI. Yung blazing duet, tapos 10 stacks, <laughs> kahit mag-sprint ka, wala. Sasaluin mo yung lahat, Kreshit. Yeah, Pisor, we got the Wintoker yata dito para kay uh, Ribo. Kung di tayo namamali, Wintoker or maybe the Deadly Blade. Pero, well, let's just wait out how will that roll. Para dito kasi, again, ang kailangan ng Archangel ay hindi lang yung ay, ang kailangan ng Bread Esports ay hindi lang items nila, yung setup talaga. Yes. And this is a nice opportunity. The Lord being taken in by Archangel. Pumesto si Ace na seed pa si Kiluash. Black Magic Kick. Sabi dito, Kiluash, pero may special rotation. Maka-cancel out, ladies and gentlemen. Tore, ay naku, Lord. Lord na gusto Jeff, pero hindi pala. Si Jay ang una mo wawala. Ah. Pero na din si Maring Yuji sa panang gilid. Naglabas ng Z4 sa kanyang spada. Jeff QT forever. This is your time, maybe. No, hindi. Sinagot pa rin siya ni Coco dito. Ito, palitan mismo, tatlo para sa tatlo. Grabe, sabayang pagbigkas. Abay, nako! Ay! Si Coco! Holy Cams! Ay, nako! Cardo! Ah! Cardo! Ba't kasi hindi pa matapos-tapos yung palabas mo? Coco Dalisay, mga Oo. kaibigan! Holy Ang God. pinansagang Coco Martis! Oo, men. Ay, just ko kitang kita, huli cams. Huli sa damo, men. Huli sa damo. At ngayon, Archangel, gusto na, nita tong, gusto na nila yung Lord, parang Shibu. Grabe talaga si Kiluwas dito, real MP3. As MP3, MP3. Siya yung pinasimula ng teamfight na yan. Oh. Hayes, try to make that miracle play. No, he won't. And now, pasok doon. Si Kiluwas ngayon, tas tingnan natin kung paano sasagot dito yung Brand Esports. Walang ano dyan, objective. Iniwan ng kapitan. Ay. Isama mo pa yung Liamar dyan. Grabe, pero matitira si parang Ryu dito. Siya ang magiging sacrificial hero para sa Archangel. There is the King's Calling. Oh. Mahila doon sa'yo magagana, pero wala. Lastly again, nagpa-box out, naglalagay ng slow dito mm -hmm. si paring, uh, paring Coco pero tignan nyo yung minimap mga chong oh, nga, mga tricks, Jeff Cutie forever sa taas, ang nasa gitna yung Panginoon at dun sa baba yung Min Sitar Archangel, ito yung ayaw na ayaw you don't ang mga want... kalaban nila sa Archangel you don't Lag want this laging na pressure na... hindi lang yung Archangel pati ang Onage, oh. lagi silang nampapressure oh my G, sinabi natin friend esports ang nagsimula ng pressure cooker gaming, pero ngayon pressure na naman sila on the blue side I like this Grok Block technique sa bandang Tore kasi wala kang choice eh. Kailangan mo talagang lumayo kasi pag lumapit ka ng onte easy setup yon sa spear yeah. ni Jay para hilain ka, Kuya Shin. Kasi dalawang choke points na lang yun. Eh. Dalawang Dapit choke points na lang. Oh. Eh, you want to do deal damage. Pero of course, may means it turn naman for that AOE wave clear. Yes. Yeah? And yung range kasi ng spear ni Jay, oh. aabot din sa axis ng Tore. Uh, Kapag nasa kita ka na Tore, pwede kang abutan. Aba, akala mo pala yung axis. Axis yan, boy, mat yan, uh, isusulat. Tinuro sa grade 4. Tinuro, no? Nabuto, eh, ano? Second year high school naman. Second year high school. Oo naman. Geometry. Geometry. Ewan ko, majority nga ba yun? Pero yun yun, boy. 12 minutes in, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my, hindi ko pa rin masabi, boy, Shindu. How do you deal with this? Winter Trunchon para kay Rio. Oh my glove. Yung lineup din kasi oh. ng Archangel pare. Jump Brothers eh. Oo, oh, oo, oh, oh, oh. Jumping Spider. Oh my Tatalon God. Tatalon si Guenivir. Sobrang wild card nito. Ta Mga kaibigan, <laughs> oh again gym. ha. Remember, remember. Kung sino manalo dito, very, very close sa championship. Match point po sila. Dahil oh, nga oh. momentum based oh, oh. na ang isang best, best of three. Ay, oo, oh, tama ako oh, yung Shin. Ngayon pa lang magkakaroon. Demon Hunter. Hindi mo na ito. Ano yung first score? Ano yung first score item? So Pro probably the... Uh, Golden Stop. The Endless Battle. Endless Battle. Endless Golden Battle. Stop. He went for the Demon Hunter sword. He wants to get the Shred. Yes. He wants to get the Shred na lang. Usually go for the Thunder Belt after, oh, okay. after the, Golden, uh, the Golden Stop. Pero yun na nga. Oh. Kera naman dito sa may panaka para kay Hayes. Pero mukhang wala pa rin tayo makikitang makakakuha ng death mula sa Bread Esports dito. Holy Christ. Oh, Nabili kami sa Marikilumas dito. At napamali. Napaloob. Oh. Dito ngayon si Paring Joe Hayes pa rin. No? After the Immortality. He's gonna be saying goodbye. Last thing. Oh, Eric Trump na double kill already. Para naman siyempre kay Rebo. Coco then defending their own turret against the Minion Waves.
Sports. Nakakay ko, nakakay ko, ko talisay na ata ang bola ngayon para oh. sa side ng Bren Esports. Kuya Shinbu, nice usage of the first skill, the spinning light wheel to slow down the enemies na pumapasok sa loob ng base. 80% uh -oh. slow yeah. yung spinning light wheel na yun, Kuya Shinbu. Yeah, you would have think, you would have think na push na sana yun ng Archangel, pero tinaasan ng Bren Esports ang kanilang depensa at hindi ito maliparan ng Archangel sa kanilang opensa. They need one good blazing duet na magmumula kay Jeff Duty Forever dito. Mukhang mas gusto niya yung first type na laban. Kasi again, napag-usapan natin, jumping spiders ang Archangel. Uh, King King speci special migration. <laughs> ah, okay. The falling star moon. It na-shoot doon sa King's Calling. Tapos dun ka pag blazing duet sa loob. Oh, okay, Bigan. Nanunood ang buong Pilipinas. Again, we are just down to the last two teams here. Eto na. Dito sa ating MPL Season 3. Chin. Na 14 minutes na tayo. Oo. Isa lang ang ibig sabihin yan. We are at the late game, game now. Ganun na nangyari Oo. dito. Mala Doctor Strange. Oo, nasa dulo na talaga tayo. Dulo ng walang hanggan. Ito na yung panahon na binigay mo yung time stone, no? Binigay na, binigay na yung time stone. Di Thamos, ganun mm. na ang mangyayari dito. Corrosion site. Parang Shinbu, sama mo pa ng immortality. Ang yaman ni Jeff Beauty. Pinakamayaman, ladies and gentlemen, oh. kung nakita niyo yun. Pwede siyang bumili ng Mustang. Pwede siyang bumili ng Mustang. Pwede niya tayo ilibre lahat ng Milk Tea. Oh. 12,900. Pwede siyang bumili ng Realme. Oo, oh, ma. <laughs> pasok na pasok. Oh, ma. Realme, Realme, Realme 3 Pro. Oo oh, naman, oo oh, naman. Gano'n tayo dito, mga kaibigan, goes for Hayes. That is actually a big misstep there from the show. At doon! nila ikakash in yung pick ng mid sitar oh my g all Ganda the nun. shields oh, oh. all the shields kay paring rio oh di ba ma maputi na ang buhok <laughs> pare more than 5k ang buhay niya Yabi. so kuputi na yung buhok niya 10k yung buhay niya <laughs> ganyan and hindi yan yung buhay kasi ng esmeralda hindi siya countered as max hp uh -oh. so yung mga true damage percent na meron yung carry wala lang dito sa shield pasok oh pa ay, ganun pa rin oh, ganun pa rin, pa rin. Oh. Oh, oh. oh my g ladies and gentlemen Lilipad na nga ba ang Archangel dito, paring Shinbu? Yan nga, malaking katanungan. Gaano kapal at kataas ang defense of pwedeng magawa ng Bren Esports ngayon? The Lord is already pushing in favor of Archangel. Obviously, that's is going to be going in to the mid lane side. Of course, Bren Esports would just go into their own base. It's very, very risky, especially with the pickups of the Spear of Glory. Magic Thump then ng Greenbeard dito. Mm -hmm. And they go out, they can easily get a knock-up mula sa mga membro ng Archangel. Here we go. Pero galit na, galit na, Lord. Sumugod na, eto na naman, eto naman, mga mga kaibigan ng King's Calling, pumasok pa ang Kuali Sarbun. Nakakaagad sila mga kaibigan ng Sabili dito yung ultimate syempre ng ating Valeric pero makikita naman naman yung bawas at buhay dito oh. ni Jay na namaalam. Yung Lord ngayon ang nasa pagbunta ng harapan at si Jay naman ay mawawalan dito ng ating immortality. Oh. Pero, Kilowash would make an answer dito at dun sa may bandang baba ay mawawala na rin ang ating inhibitor chariot. Mission accomplished yeah. para sa Archangel. Chill lang. Gawin nating makulay ang mundo. <laughs> Archangel, Archangel, Archangel. Ating mundo'y gawing makulay. Oh! Pero nako, nawala na ng buhay. Yeah. Si paring Jeff Beauty Forever. Jeff Beauty Forever getting delivered into the base. That is a misplay punish here by the Bren Esports squad. Ma'am, baka. Sigaw lang Archangel. Aliyup mula kay Hay. Sabi ng Bren, Ops, no easy basket. Oh, Even oh. though makuha nila dito ang mga mm. tore. My line of defense pa sila. They have all the damage in the world, paring Shinbu. What's interesting dito, hindi ko makita ang Berserker's Fury to give the crits na magbumula dito kay paring yeah. Yuji. Sinasabi ng Bren Esports dito, rising star kayo, pero tandaan nyo, kami pa rin ang buwan dito, kami pa rin ang Bren mismo. Kami ay nagpauso ng lang malakas. Oo, kami lang ang malakas, oh, mga kaibigan. My... Yes. At ngayon, dito sa Season 3, kung saan ang dami ng malakas, Tingnan natin na itong hayan kung how will all of this one conclude here goes for Jay oh. and Jay getting destroyed here. Items cashing in by the carry. Thunderbolt available. Killing spree para kay Coco oh, oh. Dalisay dito. Two oh, oh. minutes in ng ating papasok ano na Lord. Pa end of season na. Pa end of, pa end of, season. Pa end of season na yung, yung serye yung ni Coco. Yung serye ni Coco Dalisay mga oh, oh. kaibigan. Having the Thunderbolt for the extra, extra oh, oh. HP. Pwede na lumaya yung Vendetta. Vendetta ben ben dito oh. mga babi. Okay na. Oh my G, na kay Coco yeah, ang bola. Yeah. At, at that rate, yes, guys, ang lamang na lang po dito ng Archangel ay yung pressure sa gitna at dun sa may bandang baba, 
Pero guys, do not ever think na kapag nagkaroon ng class dito, surety ang panalo kagad ng Archangel. Magkaiba. You know, Big Saw, I think napaka-risky na ng carry dito. Ating pong pagmasdan sa tingin ko, parang Shinbo ha, kapag nag-clash, kagaya nga lang sabi mo, ah. yung dalawang carries, yung dalawang marksman, sa laban na to. 6-2-3, si Baring Coco, 4-4, HGF, Cutie Forever, medyo consistent. Yes. Magandang KDA. Yes. Pero sa galaw nila, madidetermine yeah. ang laban dito dahil late game na tayo. And remember, Coco has a Beleric. Beleric is still in the late game. It's still Beleric. It still mitigates the damage. The Beleric yeah. Clinic. Yeah. Which is sinabi natin kanina, yung passive ni Beleric oh. dito, yung Flower of Nature, Isang semi-counter yeah. mm. sa isang marksman, kagaya ni Jeff Cutie Forever. And that. Of course, the obvious counter for Coco, hindi naman talaga basta susugurin, susugurin ni Jeff Cutie Forever yan. Mm -hmm. Again, ang gagawin, or ang habol kay Coco dito ay ang mga tulad ni Rio, ang mga tulad ni Kilua. But oh, oh. Rose Gold Meteor is now available as well for Coco. Oh you cannot God. easily burst it. May Thunderbelt pang kasama. May Thunderbelt pang okay. kasama. So, kada phantom step mo, may proc ng kuryente. Oh, one, two, three, three, phantom step. Sasabayan, oo, oh, sasabayan ni Coco dito. <laughs> yung kolog ng kitlat, <laughs> Weshit. Oh, oh my G. Ala, um, mararamdaman mo, ang katahimikan ngayon ito sa Nepa Pavilion. Mainit, mainit. Aim high, yeah. paasay, binabati oh, ko ang ating mayor. <laughs> <laughs> mayor Calixto. Repin from ka nga. Repin from no? Pasay to, oh. boy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Lahat ng mga taga-Pasay dyan. Aim high, pero balik tayo sa ating ball game ko yung Shinbu, 19 minutes. Napakatagal ng ating laro uh, ngayon. Stall game ang nangyayari yes. mga kaibigan. And of course guys, we cannot disclose anything here. We want that our players to make the most of their own position. Para sa ito, pero ayun, nakita ni Lasty. Siyempre si Pain at si Coco dito. Actually, nagkakabentahan na dito ng items ko, Eugene. Oh, oh. Just to get the immortality Yabi. item. Eh. Yabi. Para lang ma-extend yung team fight dito. Ak Actually, yeah. inaantay ko nga na may mag-malefic roar na nga eh. Oh, yeah, pag pwede. Pagkano na yung pagpwersahan na talaga ng push eh. Pero piling ko buka malabo kasi everyone is just preparing with this kind of itemization for the team fight. The team fight, I think, will happen oh. in front of the Lord. Eto na, oh, my glove. Brace yourselves. Na, brace yourselves. Kapit Eto sa mga na. upuan. Cameraman, alo boy, let's go. It's time. <laughs> Here we go. Ito kasi pa. Black Magic Kick. Naku po. Daong, sabay gera dito. Napatong ba yung win si Tara? Pero may mortality yan. Sa ibang bahagi, inaabot siya ng Cutie Forever dito na control. Ang kanyang placing duet. Oh my G, doon sa bandang likod. Rio! Rio, Rio and Lasty! Ay, naku po. Nandito si Paige na, Yuji. Sabay Rio and Lasty. Avengers, assemble. Like Angel, magmamampa out na. Yapi, at walang pwede. Ay, hindi. Hindi, tinitingnan. The Crash Gear. The Crash Gear. Yung mga Crash Gear. Yun na nga eh, yun na nga eh. Si Rio, ay naku, Rio! Ay naku! Kalawang Street Fighter! Oh my God! So, Rio get a! Rio trying to redeem himself again. Nakita ko na to. Salamat sa exec. Rio! Ginagawa mo! Winter Traction ng kamatayan. One is to one. Bren Esports. Sila lumamang doon sa laban, paring Shinbu. Nakita ko na to, Trip. Sa replay, Trip. Na replay to. Sa replay. I saw it from the future. You come from the future, bro. Pini pinirata pa nga to sa YouTube. Kid. Yun na nga nangyari, Bobby. Ilang beses na. Isang one hit. Isang one, one hit. hit. Remember that video, tricks It was real. Trying to finish the game. Parang ganun But din. Kaso ang nangyari, Kuya Shinbu, hindi isang one hit yung base. Oh, 14 million hits pa. <laughs> Pero siguro nga mga anim na one hit yun. 10 bits. Isang 14 million hits. 10 oh, bits mga bes. Oh my G, what Please. a finals kuya Shibu. Again, the one who's trying to come back here ay ang Bren Esports. Dinala ng Bren Esports ang espiritu ng Signal Ultra dito. You know that they're the one who denied Signal Ultra was slot papunta sa MSC. At mm. kita nyo mga Bobby D, basag ngayon yung mid lane turret. Unang, Anong nangyayari? Ang ganitong trend, this is in favor of Bren. Unang turret, Kuya Shinbu. Let's see, Kuya Rio, kung may pwesto na naman dito. But meanwhile, meanwhile, ang tunay na hunter. Oo, oh, oh, pero syempre, nakahandaan lang din tayo. Kalma, kalma, oh, kalma. Syempre, kung, kung tignan natin, well, again, di tayo talaga pwede mag ng mga Ay, anong mga plano correct, ng mga plano ng, ng mga black magic kumbaga samahan niyo lang kami ladies and gentlemen oh, oh. sa pag-acting na kunyari walang naglo-lord oh. walang nagte-tape ng objectives <laughs> dahil mas gusto namin na mas tama at mas Guys, maibigay ng mga players again ang maximum potential nila what you are witnessing in front of you dito sa Le Pavilion ay ang daan okay ang tunay the na last, daan the last fight ang in crowning the oh. strongest the strongest mobile legends team sa buong Pilipinas. Kuya Shinbu, I like the wind of nature pick para kay Coco oh. dito. It can negate some of the damage of na course. meron sa blazing duet. duet. Of course. Sakto yun. 
yung cooldown nung uh, proc nung ano nun, medyo mawawala yung Blazing Do It dito oh. kapag na timing nga. Oh, 22 minute game, ladies oh, and gentlemen. G. And ang hirap, sangit si Dr. Strange lang ang nakakaalam. Ng future. How, how will this end? Ng future. Ang problema dito ko yung Shinbo, bawal natin sabihin <laughs> kung ano ang future kasi hindi mangyayari. Oh. Nagkakabitlahan na ng boots. Wala nang boots-boots, sabi ni Coco. Oh, ano. Even though, mahilig siya sa mga sapatos. Oh. Oh. Ganon, he's willing to give up his shoes oh. para lang maging kapyon. Tama, tama ka dyan, Kuya Shibu. Pero gusto kong pagmas nandito si Jay, ah, kasi nagiging battle type na rin siya dito, yeah. pare, having the BOD. Okay, tumunog na. Pinasimulan na ng Bread Esports ngayon ng Lord. That one we can easily mention. They're also scouting. Grabe ang respeto kay Lasty. Respect. Sobrang grabe ang respect the MC. Respect the As MC. Mag-isa lang talaga siya doon. Pero you can actually see they aborted it. Yeah, you, Napaka risky daw. Yes, parang grok. Eh, tingnan mo ha, 16 assists. <laughs> Bobby, <laughs> oh, the diba? ultimate playmaker. <laughs> ang grok ni Lasty dito. And actually, pwede-pwede niya malasit. Kasi pwede umabot ng 1K. Yung damage ng power of nature. Hindi, machine. hindi. Parang Manjin. Oh my. G. Ino muna na tubig, ino muna na tubig. Sana ganyan ka mag-carry, sana ganyan ka mag-clone. Mukha lang, alam mo, nag-training na ako kay Kaya Doggy. May itiks nga tayo. Pero sana ganun ka rin mag-Selena, anong parang kanina, Kuya Shinbo. Pero kidding aside, ladies and gentlemen, eto na ang laban. Alright, we got the ultimate getting forced out of Lusty here. Of course, you have to remember, this is the classic and signature Archangel playstyle. Pressure. Across the map. The pressure plus the sandwich. Mga technique. kaibigan, ito ang tunay na lipad ng Angel. Napakataas ng scope nila oh, in yeah. approaching a game. They always make sure that the side lanes are always getting pushed. Correct. Not to mention the Lord always getting checked. Yun na nga eh. So, parang walang may gustong mag-face check ng Lord dito yeah. eh. Kasi kung sino pwede mauna ng Lord, di mo oh! alam, oh, nako, eto yung Shoryuk at Violet Requiem. Yeah. Facial migration out. Nilabas ang Phantom. Ribo na ka ball! Phantom stop. Na, patay ito! Huli, patay ito! Ito! Okay, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Tumatagot ang alaman niya, pero tuloy tayo sa alaman natin. Champion of Forever Casting is, of course, he's placing to win. Ah. At kita mo, wasak pa rin doon si Lasty ngayon. At wala pa rin na papatumpa mula sa side ng Brand Esports. Oh my G, sabi ni Captain Payne dito, let's go, Repo. With a beautiful initiation. On to Kilua, yeah. sparring Shin. Rio. Going for the miracle play, oh. despite all the doubts against him, he will still go for the dive. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Cutie forever wants to go for the pressure. The Lord has been slain, ah. is going for the push. Para sa Beleric dito, oh, yes, na medium wave, na medium wave going for the push as well. Pinatunga ng Lord, and it's still not yet over. Hindi pwede yan! Bren lang malakas! It ain't over till it's over, Bobby! Oh my G! Sabi ni Jeff Cutie, Teka, hindi ako si CKTD! Sister team ko lang yun! Akala ko ako si CKTD! Oh my G, pare! What a game! What a game! Bren Esports! And I doubt this is still over! I doubt this is still over! Yes, my lord! But the timers are quite short! Ito na ang end game! Ito na ang end game! Ten, 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 ten! dito, a very massive comeback oh my from Bren Esports. Wala na kaming pake. Wala na kaming pake. Kahit kami, hindi na kami yung kinilala yung champion dati. Okay lang. Last pa rin ang panito ng Bren Esports. And I think that uh, it is one of the respect mula dito sa Bren Esports themselves na hindi na nila ibibigay itong damos na laging successful ang Archangel Cho naman. Sabi ng Archangel, nako, huwag na natin talaga kung ibigay ito kay Kuya Hayes. Yeah. Ibang klase si Kuya Hayes. Isang Mag best niya lang nagamit yun from this series kasi almost <laughs> lana na chuchu almost damage sila so oh. gumamit lang siya ng chu <laughs> binanagat yung binanagat kasi magically siyang gumagawa ng play uncontrollable play na ginagawa super super smooth and with his teammate 
ibang klase. Yeah. Tama si ano si Dogs kasi uh, when you have that shoe, especially early game and the way that Bren likes to approach the early game, mahilig sila mang shutdown, mahilig sila mang snowball early game palang with the invade, especially with the map control habang maaga. The fact that you can do that so well with the shoe really goes to the playstyle right there of Hayes. So that's why they want to eliminate it as soon as they can. All right. Now Kimi is a hero. Syempre na ayon natin yung makalagpas sa ating aban. Kimi is a very strong pick on its own. And of course, Bradley Sports don't want to face up against that. Ngayon, drop ulit or yung mag pwede natin makita na Harry ang pwedeng iban or pick ng Archangel. I mean, if they do ban out the Grock, it will be, the Harry will be picked up by the Bradley Sports side. I think it makes more sense, but Hadja, ang mas ayaw makuha dito ng Archangel. Bren, ano pipili nila? Is it Harry or is it Grock? I think it will always be... Uh Harith. Because it's different because it's the impact of Harith when it comes to the early game. Once he's level 4, he can just provide a lot of structural damage, especially in the tier 1 towards them. In result of that, he has a lot of response to the opposite team. So, I think Harith for the first pick. And then, follow it up if they get the Grok on the side of Archangel. They have an option to secure the Leo Mord just in case they win. Yeah, so I think here, like, um, my brother said. No, dali niya. Kuya, um, de. Yung kakasabi niya nga lang, Harith will be a good pick off. And then for AA, they can just take Grok or a Cloud or take Grok or a Kukra. But either or, the two picks is a good pick coming from Archangel. But babalik tayo sa win nun, they can pick a lot of stuff. They can pick Lunox. They can outdraft basically Archangel. So banning Kaja is nagpaan, nag, Naglimited na dito ang Archangel. It's so hard to grab something like this kasi nasa point, nasa game point na sila eh. So this is, nakakatakot to, nakakanervous to if you are on the position of um, Archangel right now. Sure ko, may, may nervousness sila na nadadama ni Kaya. Just like actually you said, uh, Grok at saka ang Claude. So mukhang tumatama na tayo. Baka manalo na lang tayo sa predictions nito. <laughs> For once, baka tama. Kaya nyo pala ako minis dito. Oo nga. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, alright, of course. Uh, the Grok has been picked as well as the Claude. I kind of want to give a little bit of uh, credit para sa mga coaching staff ng lahat teams, not only with Brendan and Archangel. Siyempre, Archangel, we know that Coach Panetary na nga na review natin ngayon. Um, Brendan Sports, I think AJ, one of the coaching, uh, six man and slash coach. And you have, uh, uh, you have uh, Madam Mitch and siyempre si Boss Jam na actually medyo nagpapa nagpapabati yata si Boss Jam. Eh. But anyways, <laughs> for Brendan Sports, I think uh, for, for all the teams, yung mga successful talaga is kapag maganda yung kanilang coach. Stuff. And it's really showing up right now. They will go for the Franco at this moment. Yeah, it's really good, honestly. You know? <laughs> Seventy-seven percent as win rate for a good reason. Bren, marunong mar talaga silang gumamit nito. And uh, one thing I want to go back to is you mentioned the development of the esports scene locally. Dahil nga meron na tayong mga coaching staff. Eventually, I'm sure uh, the, the fact that there can be sports psychologists to help teams in yes. between games. Uh, it's really a very, very difficult thing that these players do. Sobrang hirap, a day in and day out, nagbubo sila, everything they have. And at the end of the day, you'll need the support of a lot of other players, a, a lot of other people, including psychologists, including coaches. And that's why it's such a big deal, the fact that we have people like Panda behind people like oh, Archangel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now, kaitan natin lunok sule para sa Brandy Sports. So, uh, I kind of want to ask ko na yung maging setup ito para sa Brandy. Sino yung kukuha ng Harry? Sino yung kukuha dito ng Lunox? Uh, Yuji, I think he's gotta be on that. Uh, Yuji's gotta be on that. Harith, I think, and yeah, pretty much, I think. Do you think? But uh, doggy, but knowing both of these. I mean, it's so random because uh, Rebo uh, and and, and UG, they switch it up all the time, or sometimes Coco and Rebo switch it up all the time. It's super hard to predict. Ayon talaga eh. So, but now, kung titingnan natin nagfrango ng sila, so they need to ban that Akai if they okay. don't want that counter. Pag hindi masecure ng um ng ng Archangel. Yeah. So, but Ooh, banning Ismala is much is more better because they sila not have to do it So, it's a hard, tough game for them. Actually, so, they yeah. so, actually nila to go for that jawhead again. Or even that uh, Akai wants more of the last two picks. Uh, repeat the success of the first game. I wouldn't be surprised if they go for that. No. Leo Mord is a very successful pick in the playoffs, I would say. Parang hindi siya masyadong nabibigyan na priority noong group stages. 
Kasi parang nat- madami siyang best na pipili pero natatalo siya. But for these players, I think people who can control the Leon Ward really well, sila pa yung nananalo. In fact, Yaku on Signal Ultra, naging successful, successful siya with this uh, Leon Ward. But in the previous game, nakita natin Rebo with this place and the Leon Ward also very successful. Minotaur has been banned by Archangel. So what does this leave uh, yeah. the, for the assass- for the mage player though? I mean, wala na masyadong option dito. Sure, the Akai is gonna get picked up against the Franco, but in terms of the main mage damage, what do you expect Your to see? Team is yeah, I think like like uh, Lizar said, wala na masyadong mage. That will be on the side of um, Archangel. That will be a hard pick. But I think pwede naman sila kumuha dito ng, um, ng Kadita. It will be a generic. Lalagi na natin nakikita since yung Kagura ban. So that will be a hard pick for um, Archangel. But then, friend, can they take it? This this Johan, if they can make it happen, ibang klase na talaga. Oof. But Cobra <laughs> makes total sense in their composition. As well kicking. as the Aljus. Isang mga way nila para pagtapat sa uh, potentially side lane pressure coming out of the Leo Mord as well as the Claude. I'm not entirely sure if this will be a good Aljus game, pero on paper, okay lang siya dahil meron kang double mage na sila yung nakatoka sa early to mid game and then come the late game, doon na lalabas yung Aljus. And now, for Archangel, how will they answer this the set of picks mula sa Brandy Sports? Kailangan nila ng isang sustain. Pukulangan sila ng sustain doon. Well, I really thought that the Archangel will get the Minotaur, but they removed it himself. Kulang agad. Kasi kailangan mo dito kontrolin yung, uh, yung Aljus when it comes to late game. Eh. Oh. Well, they have early game potential with, with Oh, Lunox. okay. S- sorry, uh, that was a really big pick-off. I just got excited over it. Kasi alam naman natin, Bren has historically always really struggled against Selena here. The, one Ooh. of the strengths of Bren Esports kasi is the fact that sobrang aggressive sila, they know how to rotate around the map. But the fact is na di-disrupt yung playstyle nila when there's a Selena. Yes. And, and, and in-acknowledge na ng Bren yun. Sinasabi nila na they've learned how to play against Selena. But part of me still feel like na sinasabi lang nila yun para walang mag-pick nun. But you, yeah. you know, you never know. We never know. Indeed, this is Game Force Draft. At tatanungin ko na kayo ng inyong mga predictions. Medyo kinakabahan nyo nasa dule. Pero <laughs> yun naman ngayon ang una. Mr. TDZ, what is your prediction from the draft? I'll go with Bren. Bren? Bren okay, Bren so tatapusin na ng Bren dito. Care Tingin to share ko. kung bakit. Tingin ko kasi, again, they have, yung sinasabi ko nga kanina, they have early potential uh, kill threat with Lunox once nag level 4 lang siya. Kahit yung aggression na kaya niya ibigay sa mga tanks and also late game potential lang dun din. So, yeah, I'll go with Bren. Okay, bawal ko mopya. <laughs> okay, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Doggy, what is your answer? <laughs> Um, para sa akin, I fully trust ko. Kasi pag nag aldo siya, he is the most unpredictable Aldus user. Makikita mo, habang nag- nag-perform siya sa, sa top lane, mawawala siya, bigla pupunta sa bot lane. At <laughs> sabi ko na uh-huh. ngayon, ibang klase, nag-uusap-usap nga kami kagahapon. Sabi niya, well, ay- ayoko na sabihin kasi malaman niya yung strategy uh-huh. niya. But sinabi niya sa akin, nagtaka ako nun, oo oh, nga, hindi ko na-realize yun. Ibang klase talaga to si Coco. Okay. So, I trust Coco for this okay. one. Pag nag aldo siya, is super, super good. So I will go for Bren. <laughs> <laughs> Bren, para kay Doggy, how about you, Illustrado? Madaya ka. <laughs> ako, Sorry, sige, bro. Ako magsasabi ng uh, Archangel dito kasi feeling ko kaya pa nilang lumaban dito. They have an answer to Franco and we know that every time they pick it, there's always a good reason behind it. I mean, a good response to it. I just feel like Archangel are prepared for this lineup from uh, Bren Esports. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Di pa tayo perfect dito, but two of our panelists wants to end this series ngayon. Bago tayo magtapos, dahil baka ito na nga ba yung last game natin, ipapasa natin kay Majin and Shinbu. Take it away! Ito na nga ba ang pinakahuling laro? Oh, dito ba mapuprove na si Lay na nga ba ang kahinaan ng Bren Esports, Kuya Shinbu? Yapi. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, napansin ko lang si Illustrado na wala yung cup. Na wala yung cup, na wala yung cup. <laughs> ah, diba? Ngayon, alam nyo na, guys, kung ah, sino ang tunay na malakas. Ang tunay na malakas. Totoo yan. Mga kaibigan, match point para sa Bren Esports. Isang panalo na lang at sila ang makakabawi ng pagiging kampiyon ng MPL. Hashtag reclaim the throne. Pare ko, eh, masyado bang naging dramatic yung ending na yon para sa Archangel? Ating malalaman dahil tayo papasok na ngayon sa ating laban. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go! Of course, we are into the land of Dawn. This would be one of the final demons to be done here by the Archangel Squad. They, of all teams, cannot afford to lose this one. Bawal Kung na ikaw ay sumusuporta o bahagi ng Archangel Organization, Correct. ito na to. Itaas nyo ito na, na yung mga uh-huh. kamay. Ibigay nyo na lahat ng energy ball, mm-hmm. lahat ng pakpak na meron kayo dahil si Mr. Consistent Mage Dad Yuji 
gamit ang kanyang Lunox oh, oh. na mataas ang win rate. And Rebo here also on to the hari. Mga kaibigan, Bren Esports, muli, UG para sa ating Lunox, Coco for the Aljus, Bane here on to the Franco, Hayes for the Cupra, and Rebo for the hari. Kaliwash will be using the Leomo, Jeff Cutie forever as the Claude, Rio as the Selena, Lusty as the Grok, and Jay will be using the Akai. Meanwhile, Jay here will be punished clearly the oh. first blood for oh. our game. Muling yumayanig na naman itong ating Le Pavilion, pero pinabalik ulit. Di na si Jeff Cutie forever. Oh, no! Oh. Will not connect, but who will do so? No escape, maybe. Wala si Jeff Cutie! Jeff Cutie forever, Cutie that's the silence. Ah! Ah! BMI out si Jeff Cutie P! Pero hindi ka makakatakas kay Elastic Man. Yeah, he's doing what he can. He's doing what he can. Making the most use of the ages. Para dun sa kanyang plot. Alam niya na, kaibigan. alam niya na, na wala na siyang no ah, choice. Kasi, oh, oh. Alam niya na, kailangan niya na lang pumalag. Pero eto, kinagat na naman. Abyssal Trap. Nag-change form dito si Kuya Rio. Pero wala na, normal. At hindi rin naabutan ng Abyssal Trap dito. Last year, with a moment oh. speed. Almost. Oh, na, grabe to, medyo ginajagal ang mga membro ngayon ng Archangel. Kailangan humingi ng Archangel dito. Momentum there. Haze, tingin-tingin, oh. ginamit yung Tyrants ng Dage Turns. The hook, but of course, under the passive. Pumapana. Time to Haze. Pero rollo pa rin. Tapos liko, bakaliwa. Bounce, oh. bounce, bounce, oh. bounce, si Paring Haze. Um, eto na, Kuya Shinbu. Eto na ata. Dito mo na mararamdaman na parang galit na yung Brent Eastwards. Yeah, eh. yeah. Kasi kanina, safe play yung dalawa. Yes. Pero ngayon sila ang umaarangkada. At Paring Majin, sinasayko dito. Nasa, na, nasa psycho dito ang Archangel. Yes. As in, dinadaan sa early game. This clearly an early game na kaya naman di kilaban ng Archangel. Okay. Pero a few mistakes here and there. The worst thing, the last thing that you'd want is to get that on your nerves. Yes, ang magiging dilemma dito ng Archangel ko Yashinbu, there is the global presence na meron si Coco na kinoment na nga kanina ni paring Doggy dito. Ngayon, ang uh, na shot dahil na shutdown si Jeff Cutie Forever, madidelay ng bahagya ng mga 2 minutes yung kanyang first item dito bago siya sumali ngayon, sa gera. Ngayon, Even, yeah. ngayon naramdaman ko na kung bakit yung panel no? talaga sinasabi na baka solid yung lineup dito ng Bren. Again, lunok sa harit na ibigay mo lang ganyan basta-basta. Ay, ito yung pinag-usapan natin kanina. Yeah. Sana pinaglaban na lang yung dalawa. Oo nga eh. Yun na nga eh. Hindi pinagkampi. <laughs> Hindi pinagkampi. So you have the crits on the Synchro Vision. Meron ka pang backline damage yung the Chaos Assault. Right now, kinuwas. Napagamit siya dito pero kinagat. Nakuha yung kabayo. He can still escape this one. There we go. The arrow still not connecting. The ultimate coming in from Lusty. Rio not oh. gonna be fully engaging. He knows that there's... No, yung bite na gamit na. Mula kay Payne. Coco naman. Ultimation to Jeff Cutie forever. So, oh, contract. Sa likod, sila Yuji, tsaka si Hayes. So, wala na takas. They are locking down Jeff Cutie forever dito. Sabi niya, huwag ka na pumunta dyan sa Munoz. <laughs> Di ka bagay daw dyan, sabi ng Bren Esports dito. Uh, At ngayon, yung rotation ng Archangel, ladies and gentlemen, ay mukhang nasa shutdown ng Bren. Sa sabi Kaka na rin, uy, oh, grabe talaga grabe yung talaga. prediction Israel. The moment na may makita si Payne oh. dito, parang ganoon naman ang ginawa ni Rio. Hindi pa rin ang backship, there's the bite. There's also the lockdown on to Payne. They went all in the first kill, handed here towards Archangel. Kung, kung baga sa basketball, pagka-tress ni Payne, nag-tress din si Rio. <laughs> oh, diba? Ladies and gentlemen, first kill para sa Archangel. May kanya na silang bola, wala lang rebound. <laughs> wala lang rebound. Tira lang ng tira. Pindot lang ng pindot. Shoot lang ng shoot. At ngayon, unang turtle, mapupunta sa Archangel. Again, guys, time and time again, season 2 pa lang to. Sabi nila, si Lena nga ba ang kahinaan ng Bren? Bakit nga ba? Bren, gusto nila mag-rotate. Pero meron tayong tinatawag na abyssal traps uh -oh. na nag-pro-provide sa'yo ng vision sa iyong mapa. Yeah, but the problem here is also the vision gets mitigated here by Coco using his ultimate fully oh. going all in here against Kilowash. There is the hook. It misses. Now, kulang ng isang spell dito si Franco, a big disaster oh, para sa mga membro ng Brand Esports. Ah. And now you also get a Bissal Arrow on top of the traps. 2-0. Nakuha ng Archangel dito. Napamali ng pasok Nalala pare ko. Oh, oh. Grabe oh, oh. naman kasi si Kiluwash doon. Tinawag yung kabayo niya. Old mm. Town Road. Pero ayun, Kuya Lasty, napakabilis. Oh, pero hinabol ng kulama. Ganun din naman. Habol din ang away dito si Jeff Cudi forever. Ano nga ito, Pablo? Hindi ko yun kailangan. There is of course Lord of Realize, but I just get submitted. Oh. And it's still my big gun shows the skill. Dito, ni Jeff Cutie. Sabi ni Jeff Cutie, pull me once, shame on you. Pull me twice, shame, shame on, on me. Hindi na pwede yung pull me thrice. Sabi niya dito, ngayon dumidepensa ang Archangel. Pain, nababaksout na naman. One hook to rule them all. Lagi yeah. na lang ganito. Parang Pero pare, yung lamang na nagawa ng Brady Sports dito na wala na ngayon at the five minute mark. Parehas, lamang. lamang. Endless battle para kay Coco dito. Ngayon, ano ang plano ng Archangel? They, they are all in 
para kay Jeff QT Forever at ngayon tatlong sprint na naman just to negate the fight and Kiluwas with the Bloodlust Axe and remember this Kiluwas without any dead steel even Ryo there is wants to be really consistent very interesting he went for the Arjun Boots now on his way I think into building a lightning truncher uh -huh. Calamity okay. Reaper, Calamity available kay Rebo. Yeah, pwede, tulungan pwede. Pwede. yeah, yun yung mga items kaya nabilaman tayo natin. Again, remember, pa 6-minute mark pa lang naman. Unang item pa lang to. Pero ngayon, yung, yung laban sa ala na parang check na ng Bread Esports. Turtle, Medyo na ba ba kami? Yeah. And Coco, actually, sumasama kagad. Ngayon lang ako nakakita ng Aljos na sama kagad. Oo. Oh, eh, oh. no? Rekta kagad. Kuha kagad ng Chase Fate. Naku po. Speaking of Chase Fate, mukha na siya Chase. Ito yung mga classic na pwestuwa na hindi na pwede makaban si Coco oh. na kanyang mga membro mula sa Bren. Ang gusto kong nangyayari dito sa laban na to, pare, an eye for an eye. Kahit oh. may pick off na nangyayari sa bandang top lane, may objective naman na nakukuha ang kabilang kupunan. Yeah. Parehas ngayon ng lamang, mga kaibigan, dahil pagong ay mapupunta kay Bren at kanino na punta? Mr. Consistent Mr. UG. Mr. Consistent UG. And that is very bloody. A chaos darkening will really melt through the defenses here of Archangel. So they have to be very mindful kung saan nang gagaling yung Lunox din dito. And I think nabasa na rin, na-download na yung pustuhan lagi ng Franco. Parang no? ano eh, no? Parang uh, okay na eh. Mabilis, napa, napabilis, nabasa nila. Teka, itong ano, itong uh, side ng uh, Franco na to, hook to dito sa bandang gilid na to, iwas tayo. Pero yeah. yung Archangel, nabasa din ko yung Shin yes. eh. Kasi never nakakuha ng pick-up ngayon. Yeah. Yung Archangel, nananalo lang sila sa outplay. Sa outplay. Sa outplay, oh. pare. And in terms of Outplay, there's also the team play. Guardians, uh, Guardians Bulwark is also available now for pain. One of my favorite items actually in terms of support really amplifies the damage that can come yes. in from your teams. Yes. And a good that was first core item. Not to mention the movement spin that you can came, get out of that one. There's the inner push. Oh. Mga kaibigan, the hook gets blocked here by Lasty. Tama ka dyan, parang Shinbu. I, I would like to see the Guardians Barrier and the Hurricane Dance combination na magpumula kay Jay at kay Lasty dito. Pinipressure sila ngayon ng Brent sa bandang top lane. 40 seconds ang ating next uh, ang ating yeah. next uh, objective. Pero look at Coco, oh. nag-iipon lang ng stock. Totoo Star yan. Totoo yan. Again, ng barya. tinitingnan ni Coco kung pwede siyang sumali. Alam niya rin naman na siguro kung sakali na mag-open up yung mapa, mawala yung aming early lead, pwede pa rin naman ako makapag-farm. Pwede, pwede oh. nga talaga yan. Pero Kuya Shinbu, si Rio naman dito. Standing in the 2 0 yes. Never pa namamatay si Lina dito. Ikaw, si Lina na user ka, Kuya Shibu, alam mo kung gaano kahabde ang Selena kapag umabot na sa point na yung magic damage niya ay hindi na rin masiscape. Yeah, and they're moving on a very controlled Selena here. That's not a demon to Selena normally. Cool down, cool yeah, down, he, he went for the arcane. No, yes. Actually, m he went for the magic oh, pen dito. So, mas mahabdi talaga yung Selena ngayon. But of course, you'd want to think twice whenever you went and go in for the bite upon the arrow connecting. Yeah, may m ka na, may lightning-lightning ka pa na maghuhula doon uh -oh. sa lightning throne dyan. Sobrang Medyo close. kailangan mag-ingat din ng brand dito sobrang close. pasok nila. Yeah. Sobrang close ng laban, guys. Kanina yung laban, sobrang close din. It was a brand coming back from behind. Oh. I think it was just a four, it was just a fight na finores out ni Kiluwas niya on the Vinivir. Pero ito, anytime pwede pa mabawi dito ng Archangel yung laro. Oh. There's the hook. On to the last team. Ultimate getting burned there. At tumalon si, eh, ano, Akai Don, hindi nakat. Di lumagpas, na untog Na untog, na bangga Pagpumangga, giba Pero giba. si Hayes ang next target dito 300 yeah. damage siya malalagay Pero ito naman. Chase Fate Papasok pa sila dito Hindi, De ladies and gentlemen uh -oh. And of course, Coco doesn't want to leave the lane as well Just going in for the farm yes. Onto the top lane side Actually, Payne dito be Being very patient Doon sa bandang top lane Hinintay niya yung wild charge Na ma-activate Bago siya mag-hook uh -oh. Mas inuun Actually, Medyo nasa tama din eh kasi bakit mo nga naman uunahin yung hook? Eh pwedeng pwede mo nakagatin. Yeah. Patience is a virtue mula dito kay Kapitan. Oh! At ay nako, speaking of Kapitan! Ang kahinaan, mga kaibigan. Again, pain. Wala, kahit sa aminado. Yung Selena, lagi siyang na nahuhuli ng pana. Kasi pare, ka yung pana na yun ah, around 12 seconds, yung cooldown, pag nag-build ka pa ng CDR, mm. maabot ka ng mga 8, 7 nag seconds. Nag-reset yun. Oo, pag nag, nag ship ka ng ano, pag nagpalit ka ng form, oo. Oh, nag nag-reset eh. So, the fact na kahit hindi tumama, ang dami mong makukuha. Yup, there's the Kufra. Tyrant's Revenge Activated here, mga kaibigan. Of course, sinamahan pa ito. Na-play si oh. Tony si Jeffkin Forever na hindi na control. At ngayon, dumagating dito tol, si Rebo. Jeffkin Forever, tuloy pa rin. And here comes Coco. Forcing the knock into the face of Jeff. Eto, sinapak, sinapak. Eto, Sonic Boom. Oy, pero inikutan. Sarah G, ikot-ikot lang. Sonic Boom ulit. Ay. Pain nagabol. Sinong mas mataba? Takbo, Sinong takbo lang. Sinong mas mataba? Ah. Ay, cardio. Kulang sa cardio. Kulang si sa cardio. Kulang, kulang sa cardio. Jogging, jogging. Jogging lang, jogging lang. Pero I like 
kung ano ang ginawa dito ni, Re ni Kuya Jay. Blinak niya ng kakaunti yeah. yung mga minions dito para madelay ang push ni Parin Kuro Sabi. Tricks, may kumuha ng Lord. <laughs> Tricks, sino kumuha ng Lord? Tricks. <laughs> oh my G! <laughs> Grabe mga kapanglasan. Jay here. Holy crap! Ginulungan na pitpit. And that would be a mega kill unlock here. Para kay Ribo. Pero sa tingin ko, Kuya Shinbo, kasama yun sa plano. Ay! Ang plano dun kanina pala, psychohin lang yung Bren para makapag-lord Lord, gagad yung pala, Archangel. Kaya pala laban. Kaya space. Kaya pala laban kong laban, no? Oo. Oh, usually, may mga ganun eh. May mga miscommunication. Magtatanong yung kabi mo. Ba't ka lumaban? Oh! oh! The arrow! Ladies and gentlemen, and that's how they utilize the Lord. They want Bren Esports to make Kupol for a more easy to get the arrow. But the Blazing Duet is coming here. There's a lot of people here. They're just coming here. Until Jeff Cutie, they're just coming here. 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 Hindi ka anghel, Archangel dito, ladies and gentlemen, Archangel, Archangel, nine fourteen sa laro natin, and now unang basag, unang basag, all that fight just to get the Lord and to get another fight on the top lane side. Now they pin down one. Based on the turret dito ng Red Esports Club. Totoo ba ang propesya? Baring Shinbu. Well, wala pa akong mali sa prediction eh. Pero, so, <laughs> si Lay na <laughs> Sinasabi ko lang. Sinasabi mo lang. Sinasabi. Share ko lang. Yun. Si Lay na nga ba ang kahinaan dito? Ang dami mo kasing pwedeng makuha kahit hindi tumama yung information nandun. Oo. Yung tatlong segundo, hindi mo alam kung, kung aatakihin ka ba ng kalaban Oo. o hindi. At nasisira ang rotation ng Bren dito. Ang oh Angel is doing it, Baring Oo. Shinbu. Abrangers. Abrangers. Having a hard time here para sa laro natin. Very interesting approach dito ng Archangel. This is gonna be crazy if we're gonna be having a game five. For the first time. For the first time. Hinok mo, lumabas panda. Para kang nag-crate sa may arcade. Ang unat, ang unat ng mga nahook dito. Eto may laban magaganap sa bandang gitna. Pero eto na. Jeff, ah, Jeff, Jeff. Pero kulang ang damage. O, pumasok si Coco dito with the Shades Fade. Pero nagpagamit ng AGC Jeff. Oh! Si Coco ang unang mawawala. Pero eto na ata. Lasty, umapasok. Grab block. O, hindi ko alam yung pakasok ni Coco dun, ha. That is a statement there. Mukhang nawawala sa hulog ngayon ng Bren Esports. Kailangan nilang huminga. No, wala pa naman din na pumapasok na minion wave dito sa base ng Bren Esports. So they could buy enough time. Timers are around 20 seconds. Upon the first inch, basag ko sigurado. Itong bottom lane. Pero hindi na nga kailangan pumasag. Siguro gusto nila pumatay. Hooker T, not connecting. Binigyan ng cruise. Panigurado, kahit yamado, Kuya Shin, pandito. Ang angel na ata. Umaariba. Lumipat na ang camera. Sabi ni Jeff, kukunin ko na ba? Jeff, we are going to a game five! We are going to a game five! Art Angel Lipa! True, true, true. Yun nga yung, like they said, Gaja is one of the best, maybe the second, maybe the third. Sabi natin, pero Grok and Gaja on the same team. Oo. Pretty insane kasi napakabilis yan mag-rotate, napakabilis mag-wave clear. That is very, very scary. Which makes me think that friendly sports might have bit more, more than they could chew. Binan lang ngayon nila, yung Selena at Tease, para yeah. di sila malasan dito. But Tamus, as well as the Lunox, they want those early rotations sa, sa kanila na pupunta. But because of the fact that the Grok and the Kaja is available, they might find a hard time in this game. Totoo yun, kasi we saw that uh, happen on that last season from Bren. Mm -hmm. Yung last game nila, they're all tilted. Lahat na sila nag-choke, so they just peak the hero that they want, they don't want to communicate. It might happen here. It, it might really happen here. I, please, na hindi dumating sa point na ganun. Because this is the new era na magkakagawad ng two-peter if they won this game. A big ban, Selena. A big, big ban, Selena. Kufra ang napili ng friendly sports. Now, Archangel, considering yung kanilang carry, Lusty, as well as Jeff Cutie Forever. Siyempre, Jeff Cutie Forever, napaganda na kanyang uh, performance with uh, Marksman. Mm -hmm. I think it could be replicated in this specific game. Gushon, oh. ang gustong ilabas ng Archangel. Is this the pick that they are looking for? Is this the answer sa Tamos at sa Lunox? I mean, it's super hard to say, pero para <laughs> sa akin, it's a bad, bad pick. 
Dahil sa Cobra, oh, no. dahil sa Tamos. If it, it was Kadita, kaya niyang cancelin yung Minotaur. Kaya niyang cancelin yung, yung skill ni, ni Kufra. So that would be hard. So, Ooh. Koko, taking that um, Hanabi, he had a good, very good game exactly on that Hanabi. So, this will be a good matchup. Pero sana, ang Bren at ang Archangel, they need to give it 100% here. Mas masayang panahon. Uh, you know what? How about 100%? Mukhang more than 100% binigay nila because these are, these are the aces of their sleeves. Sinabi natin, gusto natin ng unexpected bala sa nila. Mm. Nilabas yung Gushon, nilabas yung Hanabi. It's time for game number five. But I have to ask you, ano ang inyong predictions? That's ikaw may ako ng bola. What are your predictions? Ah, nag-brand ako kanina eh. Pero looking at the draft here, medyo okay naman yung composition nila. Well, may mensahe na wave sa mga kanina. Well, it will result for an early aggression. Pero kapag hindi nila nagamit yung ganung klase aggression from Archangel, they can be easily punished by uh, by Brand. But this one, ah, I'll go with Archangel. Archangel para kay Kuya Tats. How about you, Mr. Uh, Illustrato? Archangel, 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 Archangel's gonna take this simply because ang ganda ng composition na and the early game ability for them to clear out the ways and be, they're gonna be able to shut down the early aggression of Bren Esports. Okay, how about you, Sir Doggy? This is it. Um, so, hindi ko talaga nagustuhan. Promise, hindi ko talaga nagustuhan yung Gushan pick doon. If it was Kadita, it would be insane and I would vote for Archangel. But now, no. Bren! Bren lang malakas! Magingay! All right, Bren lang malakas para kay Doggy, but Archangel para sa ating mga analysts there dito. We gonna pass it on to the most explosive duo, of course, Majin and Shinbu. Sa inyo na kwento ngayon, Mobile Legends, Pilipinas, ito ang huling laban ng FPL Season 3 God Finals. At kami, ang inyong magiging shoutcaster, muli ako si Shinbu with the one for an eye. At ako naman si Manjin. At, at kami, ang Majin Butante para sa laban ng Archangel at Brady Sports. Let's go! Let's go! Pato muna kagad to oh, Shinbu. Walang, walang, walang buwelo-buwelo dito. Lalo buelo, pat buelo. all in na tayo dito sa final game natin. Oh my G, ang pinaka huling Hura! Oo! Eto, totoo ba ang caster curse, ang panelist curse? Paring Shinbu, mm -hmm. si Doggy ngayon ang nakapwesto sa laging tumatama. Dalawa lang talaga yan. Na team. Uh Oo, -oh, dalawa lang talaga yan. Dada yung Bren lang malakas, lipad Archangel. Dalawa lang talaga. Again, even Doggy is saying, sumiyo siya Bren malakas, di ba? Pero ngayon, parang ano, he's uh, saying na, dito sa MPL, dito sa ating esports scene, parang hindi, hindi okay yung two-pit, di ba? Hindi okay yung two-pit. Hindi siya sa two-pit. So ngayon, may bago tayong team. That is Archangel. May Pero again, yung brand then they're out there to reclaim the throne. Tama ka ko yung Shinbu. Mm -hmm. After season one, mm -hmm. season one, Bren ang nagdedictate ng meta. Oh. Pero eto, okay. sa akin ni Direct, it's time! Let's, <laughs> Let's go, go into the, the game, game, ladies and gentlemen! Ito ang huling! Oras natin, our final moments here sa Le Pavilion Metropolitan Park. So gusto namin kung kayo'y sumusuporta. Totoo. Promise, kung kayo'y sumusuporta sa mga teams na to, gusto namin kayo mag-ingay for one last time. So para sa mga sumusuporta sa Archangel Chan, mag-ingay! At para naman sa sumusuporta sa Bren, mag-ingay! The final game, ladies and gentlemen, Game 5. On the blue side, ay ang Archangel Squad. Kiluwash para sa Leomord natin. Jay on to the Kaja, Rio for the Gushon, Lusty on the Grab, and Chef Beauty forever for this cat. Yuji ang gagamit dito, syempre ng Lunox. Coco bilang ang Hanabi Pain, ang Kukra Haze, ang Minotaur, at si Paring Ribu. Ribu sa kanyang thumbs. Eto na pa rin si Ribu. Oh, Nagkakalabasan na ng mga best mix dito. Oh, oh, oh. First time natin nakita ang Gushon yeah. sa laro. Yeah, yeah. Sa, sa ating series dito sa, sa ating series. Of five. You're very curious talaga with the Harry getting bad, di ba? With the Harry getting bad, with the Claude getting bad, parang ano yung mga pwede pang main zero dito dahil yung Lunox napunta na kay Yuji. Na yung napunta na kay Yuji yeah. at lagi nating tatandaan this is the first time na meron tayong game 5 at ibang laruan ng game 5 parang Shinbu eh kasi there's the exhaustion, di ba? Yeah. Even though itong mga players natin naglalaro sila sa mga sa mga bootcamp nila na uh, 9 hours, oh, 8 oh, oh. hours a day iba, iba pa rin kapag live ka naglalaro lalaro at napapanood ka ng mga tao sa pro. Lahat ay nakataya. Yeah. Lahat Everything. ay nakataya. Everything. Ang buhay ng isang pro player, again, we keep on mentioning that 
dami yes. nating pro players ngayon. Ito ang lugar sa Pilipinas na may pinakamataas na MMR. Okay, itong Lempa Billion. Oh Again, G. apoy ng isang pro player, you Magkaiba. give it your all, you give it your very yes. best. Pero para maging champion, yun kulang ang best. It's either you win mm -mm. Or, or you, you lose. lose. Yun lang ang dilemma ng mga pro player natin dito. Ito na ba ang download game ni Coach Panda, onting information lang, Kuya Shinbu. Si Coach Panda kasi parang umpisa pa lang nung series, nagbigay na siya ng mga predictions ng oh, mga drop. Yeah. Kumpaga, lahat ng Nostra ng drop, sinulat niya, nilagay niya sa libro. Yes, ganun yes. Ganun na ganun. Yes, as in, uh, actually, umaabot nagpa-50. Diba? Ang output <laughs> yung, ng drop. Uh, oh. Yung scenarios na ni-roll out ni Coach Panda dito. Yun Will nga. that be enough? Guiding a squad, a strong squad, Archangel to the Kings, and for Bren Esports, so diba? And for sure guys, sa mga nanonood dyan, live sa ating broadcast, eto ah, 3 minutes in, mukhang magiging play Wala. safe, yeah. magiging play safe mm -hmm. ang talawa. Mm -hmm. Game 5, elimination, bawal kang magkamali ng pindot. Again, pare, nagpas like, isang million ang nakataya no, dito. Ang ah, nakataya, oh, oh, oh. So, gets, itong pinakamalaking prize pool natin pagdating oh sa Mobile Legends sa buong Pilipinas. Oh my G. Hindi na nga lang yan sa prize pool eh. Oh. Yung titulo lang na pagiging pinakamalakas sa pinakasikot na laro dito sa pansa natin. Totoo, totoo. Magbabago ang buhay mo. Oh my G. Kuya Shin, mo thinking of bagong buhay, Rio dito. Gushon, eto na eh. Mukhang puso game na yung laban dito eh. Oh. Wala nang meta-meta kung ano yung nabibil ng mga pagpindot ng mga daliri ko. Gusto ko habang si Kiluwash ang ginugo dito. Yeah. May lumabas na kabayo. That is very risky. The ultimate of pain of missing out into the wall. And it's an easy 2-0 para sa Archangel dito. Speaking of easy 2-0, nakita mo naman si Jay dito. Very commendable kanina. Sinabi ng panelist natin, pag binigay mo yung kadya dito kay Jay, yung galaw ng... Oh! Ay, naku po! It's the classic Lasty once again! Oh my G, Lasty Mac, mga kaibigan! Ang pakpak, bumabalakpak na ngayon, men! Sabi ng Archangel, sabi ni Jay dito, ako ang Aguila, ako magtidikta ng early game. Jay, two assists and Lasty na din with a clutch play, yeah. paring Shin. You cannot discount it yet. Of course, we still have Ace, we still have UG there para sa laban natin. Pantayan lang natin because this is a team. Red Esports very capable of making a comeback. Tignan natin dito dahil si Ace ang gumagamit ng Kiliwash. Kiliwash. Pinakamagandang win rate sa laro. Ito, Tanan, si tatamaan si Jay dito. May kagat ang bumula kay Ribu. Si Jay lumilipad lang. Yeah. Lipad technique. Pero kadena ng ginto. Yeah. Pero still, AA ang namamayag yeah, pa. AA, yung 2 for 1 magiging 3 for 1. At pinalabog dyan ng mga patalim-talim dito ni Rio sa mukha mismo ng Red Esports. This is looking bad para sa Bren kasi kung titignan mo, oh complete. Kuya Shinbu, napakataas and Jeff Cutie forever. Even though he has the bounty, the bounty, uh, the bounty emblem, nakakapag split push siya yeah. sa bandang top lane. Ang buong Pilipinas ay nanunood po ngayon. And even those outside the country, they're very curious who is the strongest team oh. in the Philippines in Mobile Legends. And Archangel is a step closer at 5-1 on that story. Oh my G, pare. Bren ngayon. No, on a very tight situation. Gusto sana nila sila magdidikta. Oh, oh. Minotor, again, sasabihin ko lang, highest win rate na ngayong araw para sa laruan natin na ito na gamit ni Kuya Hayes. Ang magiging dilemma ko dito, pare koy, oh my G, paano sila makakapag-set up? Yeah, they have to be mindful though of Hayes maybe making the jump. Hayes is in the front line. Medyo obvious at telegraph yung ganitong classic approach. Yes. First members of Archangel would be backing out. By the way, sa mga nanunood ng mga tao dyan sa mga bahay nila, oh, oh. yung mga bahay lords, please do share our broadcast and put in the hashtag SmartMPL and hashtag Be Legendary! legendary. Oh. Mga another one! It's a pick up from Jay! And that is from Akaja! Isang hero na may pakpak! Lilipad na nga ba? Ako ang agila, sabi ng Archangel, paring Shinbu, another turtle para sa kanila dito, Kuya Shin. This is too much. Paring Shinbu, uh -oh. ilang beses natin ito na panood eh. Bren Esports, may tendency silang mag-tilt oh, oh, kapag momentum game oh, ang pre. usapan. Again, ang Bren Esports ang isa sa mga pinakamatibay na pundasyon. Totoo. Pero ang mga pundasyon mabibigat, matitibay pag naitulat mo. Medyo grabe kung Medyo pumagsak. grabe talaga. And syempre, mas masakit ang pagbagsak kapag mm. ikaw ay nasa taas. Le sinabi natin dito, sila ang pinakamalinis na galaw, pinakamagandang oh, oh. rotation ng entire 
entire group stage uh, nung uh, entire regular season natin. Uh, Pero Archangel, pare, putting in something new to the table. Paring Manjin, wasak na ang huling Torres sa labas dito sa base ng Bren Esports. Hayes has to make a play. Oh my G, nasa ng initiation dito ng Bren Esports. Paring Shin Bu, this is Rio. so much bad. Rio, tiwala lang, tiwala lang, okay? Oh my God, oh six na nakakapanin, nakakapanindig balahibo. Six one tayo ngayon mga kaibigan on top of a 10k gold in here. Ito na ba ang Peter side? Archangel. Kuya Shinbu, oh. ang side ba ng Kidlat ay para sa mga pakpak ng Archangel dito. This is looking bad, friend. Esports, oh. seven minutes. Ang tagal ng mga games natin kanina. Pero dahil sa aggression na ginawa ni Kuya Jay, look at this. Five assists pa rin Shinbu. Yeah. More than 90% ang yes. kanyang kill participation the first yes. seven minutes. Yes, the utility of this gadget, the surprise attacks. Ladies and gentlemen, it has stoned down. But again, Archangel has a better control nitong ating mapa ngayon against Bren Esports. Still, any massive ultimate Yes, would be it's the crucial. game changing, oh, game changing scenario para dito sa Brandy Esports. I, do, parang Naniniw si naniniwala pa rin ako doon. Ngayon parang nagigets ko na ata ang Gushan pick dito ng Archangel. Oh, okay. It is actually uh, a pick para mahuli si Paring Coco dito on the back line. Ang mag ang akala dito ng Brandy Esports, si Kilua siyang magpa-flank, pero meron ding ganong ability yung Gushan. Uh, automat dalawa yung dash mo, uh, uh, kita mo kagad at yeah. wala namang pang negate sa iyo yung hanabi. Pare, I will admit, na narinig mo ako nung nakita akong pinili yung Gushot, sabi ko ang pangit. Ang pangit, oh, sinabi mo yun, yun, sinabi mo yun. Oh, oh. Ko, uh, th there's the highest doubts on this Gushot, but this is clearly proving us wrong. 4-0-2 on to Rio, oh, leading his teammates. And the best item for the Gushot, Concentra concentrated energy. Holy Trinity para sa Gushot, Lightning Branch and Clock of Destiny on top of that concentrated. Eto na. Tiwala lang, Gusyon, ang sinasabi dito ng uh -oh. Archangel. Paring Shinbu, tinawag na ng mga anghel, yeah. ang Panginoon, ito ang yung, Lord. Ito yung Lord in game. Outside the game, everybody's praying here at the left pavilion. Whatever the, come out, the, the turnout will be, oh this my. is gonna be very, very big part of the MLBB history. Oh my G, walang download, download ngayon kay Coach Panda. Naka-Ultra Instinct, Kuya Shinbu, tandaan mo. Ang Ultra Instinct, nagpakulay, naging puti ang buhok. Yun ang pinakamalakas na form ni Goku sa Dragon Ball. <laughs> Malagoko Dragon Ball dito. Ang Archangel Ultra Archie. Instinct. Ultra, Ultra Instinct. Instinct. There is the Lord na kikir. How this initiate be done? First up, nilagyan na putok dito ng ating crack. Lumapit si Pain. Uh. At siya'y nasa bunutan. Immortality getting brought. There's the follow-up mula kay Haze. Oh, Pero beauty. nakapatay dito. Mariko is Jeff Cutie forever. At eto na naman ang Dragon Ball na galawan. Shala! Head Shala! Ubos ang dalawa. Ubos ang sa dalawa. Bell. Isama mo pa yung Tore dito sa gitna. There we go. This is very close. But will they push the issue here? No, they won't. They would have to take it twice. The champion that they want to be. Oh! And there goes Jay. Getting the pick up on to Hayes. Jay with the Katenang Ginto. Kajamon Dragon. Oh! oh yung Mayanig. Yung Mayanig. Ang Le Pavilion, there is yo, he went all in. Archangel ah! is gonna be finishing this instant. No, no, we may be available. There is Genoa as well, focusing on to pain. Will this be the final team fight? Oh my G, Ribo ang natira dito kumakagat. There Pero we go! Siya, si Kapitan ang natira. Lipad, Archangel 